So this will get us to rank two. Ah, it is you. Hail. Of course. Of course I have time to hang out with you, Hogenberg. My great pleasure waiting on me and made it difficult to stay level headed. Wait, what? I hope I might have uh, your console. Yeah, sure. Mm, I don't think it really matters what we say, so... How would you cope with such burdens? I would... I would read my book. I see. The mind does tend to clear when you're fully absorbed in something. Though myself, I've always preferred the sword to the page. It could join me in a round of... Your technique is self-taught, I presume. This seems fine. Um, sure. All right. In that case, we should need some training swords. To the weapon shot we with us. All right. Fine balance weapon, though. Not long ago, joining that I was assigned to the prince. I was younger even than you are now. Damn, that's hardcore training. Certainly. Sounds like a worthy opponent. Well. <laughs> Nothing less. It was thanks to him that I improved my my leaps and bounds. He swore we'll become royal knights worthy of a title and raise the heights of the order. <sighs> we'll be champions. Surely you jest. Oh. Is that the friend you were talking about? <laughs> Rotan? Oh, so that was so. This is the person you were talking about rivaling and combating. Mm. Did you just call me a pup douchebag? I don't like him anymore. The disrespect. Friend of hers. Nice to meet you. Oh, excuse me. What do you mean? <laughs> I mean, I'm taken back. You included the company of an elf brat. You once a proud member of the night. Hey, yo. Uh, Why does that strike you so? Absurd. Suppose like. Bro, this guy's a douchebag. You. Oh, he's a commander? Oh, boy. And? And you? Clearly you haven't gotten over pulling yourself any higher. Whoops. Bro, this guy just keeps shit-talking. I suppose you had little choice but to cling to your search for his shadow. <laughs> How dare. Choose your words with care. No need, I have nothing more to say. You disappoint me. That was a nice guy. Sorry. Uh are you okay? Listen. Huh. I'm to ask. <laughs> I do understand his anger. What do you mean his anger? He was just being a douchebag. But we cannot afford to lose sight. Let us fight onwards in the name of his royal highness. That's just the path I walk now. Everybody's being a douchebag to me. I have not the luxury of regret. Huh. 
Pardon me. Mm, but how do you know the fellow who just left? Mm -hmm. You don't say. Well, see you around. Very well. Um. Okay. Yes. Under drills or Dalton swings. They can inspire any regiment indeed to purchase. Uh, don't kill me with this workout, though. It would be cool if you um, train with her and your stats go up or something. <laughs> hmm. What is it? Amazing. All right. See a bit. Damn, I really want to buy something, I but I'd rather just wait for a sale. Just wait. So we got one, two, three, four. We got five days to um before we gotta head out or something. Oh, actually, I do want to check something really quick. Let's go. Actually, there's something I want to check. What is it? No, Maria's still crying. Uh, what? Or Maria. Hey, Trump. Hey. You know what I'm realizing? Waiting is that kind of tiring. After all we did to ascend the Grand Capri, so we still don't reach. I'm sorry. Aw, oh, poor Leon. Hey, Sonny, thank you for the lurk. Appreciate you. What is it? Hope you're having a lovely day. Mm, I might what cook, to be it? honest. I might have to cook. Uh, Stay there. Yeah, we'll cook with her. The date is just what I messed up. I, I kind of messed up with my notes for my 100%. the hell keeps saying hey there lady relax damn where did i mess up i thought we were like evenly when it came to the schedule i mean I think it's the calendar that gets what messed me up. I mean, we did finish the dungeon for the 15, I think. Wasn't it? Yeah. I finished the dream of 15. No. Did I? I can't remember. Hold up. What now?
Oh, it was. We finished the dungeon in the 15. That's what messed me up. But then that still doesn't make sense. What am I missing here? Unless I can hang out with Straw right now, which I don't think I can. Hmm. Hmm? Oh no, I can only hang out with her. Damn. Wait, there's something with Hogenberg? Oh, never mind. Um, I guess we... Yeah, I guess we cook. Time to cook. But before I go, let me explore the um, the town in the night. in the desert are on the rise. It's not surprising considering all the folks traveling here for the royal funeral. However, the army struggling with the Send Knowledge Monster. Oh, I like how it was telling me that you can find information about the monster there. Aw, you poor soul. Damn, everybody's panicking. Ridiculous. This is the pits. You won't believe it. Apparently some scammer in town were being real handful. A guard just stopped me and asked if I was a crook. Absolutely sick of people assuming the worst of me just because of my tribe. I asked the guard if he would have treated the song dress like that as well. My apologies, kid. Didn't mean to settle you with all that, but no other tribe would ever listen to my complaints. Oh, don't worry. I'm I'm getting attacked for my race. Don't you worry. Damn, girl, that's a long staff. I'm just Uh, by the way, everyone, ads are starting in one minute. Just a heads up. I think we might. Oh no! Actually, we go to the to the dungeon the nineteen. Apparent, it appears the accident with the human has finally been this resolved. Is really something. Mm. All right, I might just go cook. Oh, hello. Oh, hey, what's up? The guy from the from the mines. Oh. The one. I'm glad you were able to make it to safe and sound. 
Take the words out of my mouth. Don't know what your circumstances were, but cutting through there was a no wasn't a normal route by any means. <laughs> Um, ads are starting in five seconds, everyone. All right, then. Oh, that's cool. I actually like that, that you get to see some peoples from the, the dungeons here. What is it? This is the pit. A nice little touch. Someone's mad. Oh, I am grateful. What is it? We're gonna go cook. What is it? Amazing. Let me uh, save it here, just in case if I make a mistake. Yeah. Uh, let's do it. You're a big help. Next up is. I finished preparing the fish, so now we have to put them in the pot. Right. Finishing touch. Um, we I think it's this one. In that case. Whoa. I hope that's right. Go. All right. So the sixteenth done. On, and the age of a new king draws nearer. Evidently. Exactly. Oh, they're talking about our quest. That's nice. Well then, I. All right. Let's see if there's any um, new info that we can buy. What is amazing? Fancy a bit. I think the info only shows up depending if I have a quest for it. It might tell me that he's selling some information. I think that's how it works. Welcome back from the head, everyone. Oh, what to do, what to do. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That damn blue is beautiful. I think Stro should be over here, right? What is it? I'm thinking believable. No, I wonder, does this lady only give me one thing at a time? Yep. 
right? <laughs> Who's having an evil laugh over here? There's somebody bad in there, just saying. That's an evil laugh if I heard one. Yeah. I. Uh, sure. All I'll right. hang out with you, Leon. <sighs> I'm still mind blown that this, these are not um, voice acted, to be honest. He served my. He served the house. Oh. However. That's. After the human attack, the survivors fled to the capital. No one could make a living among the ruins, much less restore it. Well, I would if I had the means. All I have left is my own. I'm so sorry. Wow. Your kindness is more than I could ask for, young master. Shall we take them with us? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know why that bonding sound kind of reminds me of Soul Hackers. It might be from Soul Hackers. I see. the weight old friend a fateful day seven years ago my parents acted to save as many as they could i was just a boy lost in the panic and i wouldn't have escaped where if it's not for all of you oh, definitely in other words i'm only standing here because of your swift action sure but straw is just so nice hmm Uh, let's go set him straight. Let's go set him straight. Wait. You know? I fear it might backfire. Wait, wait. You're coming too? Of course. Hmm. That's what friends do. It'll be fine. You. Thanks. Either way, it's reassuring to have you on my side. Oh, we got closer, level two. I feel more courageous when I'm with you. You have my things as well, Sir Lincoln. I have no doubt the young master is capable of hands. Huh. So I'm guessing that will be rank three, where we go talk to him. Let's head back. Oh, actually, no, we might go right now. That money, though. <laughs> oh, no, okay, that's next time. We're fine. All right, so now... Today's the 17. Is there anything else we can do? Hmm? Oh. 
need them. Hmm. What is it? Hey, remember? So we can either do that or we can what is it? I guess we can go cook again. Tolerance is going to take us a while to level up, so we could try focusing on that right now. Yeah. It? Yeah, I guess we might cook again. What is it? We'll what cook again. It? Amazing. Yeah. Let's do You're a big help. Cooking time. Next up is. Then... Is it the same dialogue or is it different? Oh shit. Hmm. I should have saved it. Um. Cook it on low heat. Let's try this. I hope that's right. Nice job. Hell yeah. Let's go. Now then. Tolerance. Oh nice. We leveled up tolerance. We might go to the dungeon today. Dungeon, it might be. We need to complete this bounty we have. Time marches on, and the age of a new king draws nearer. Well then. Well then. Stay there. Yeah, I guess we'll do the the quest then. So I might have to buy some poison removal Fancy items. One in on this. Right, he does poison attacks. Just between us. So he shoots fire, he can poison us. And I think he's weak against ice. Yeah, okay. Amazing. So if he uses fire. Oh, 
Okay, do not use Seeker or Merge. I might stick with Healer for now. That is. Uh, I'm gonna give. Oh, actually. Mm. What about Mage? We'll give you... We'll give you Lucky Fine. So I'll switch to Mage. Oh, but then... Here's the thing, I need healing too. At least with Healer, I can... I can remove the poison with it. Actually, no. Bad idea. Bad idea, bad idea. I'll stick with healer for now. I'll just give him an ice skill. So I'm just gonna buy some poison removal. I think I have some with me. What now? Okay, yeah, I'm gonna buy some and then we'll go do the quest. Oh, nobody to talk to right now? Ask me what a warrior needs is most of the agility and luck. <laughs> I don't know about the luck part. Luck is really not that needed. What now? I wonder if there's a better armor for him. It's him. Okay. For your pop. Hmm. That one's better. So you can have a little bit better armor. Train plus one. Wait. Oh. So I just got to buy some potions before we head out. Hey. I'm what is it you All right, we'll buy I mean I have four. I'll just buy six. So we have we can have 10. Bounty we go. We might have to do some grinding though. Hmm. What you need? What you need? Oh, why did I even come this way? Maybe there's some new dialogue here. It doesn't seem like the faces of the rock have moved. I think it's gonna be... Mm, 
Can't wait for my face to show up there. Give me a, a potion. How nice of them. Serves you right, you damn nobles. That's what happens when you waste your tax money. Stop it, we're gonna do it if the night commander hears you. Damn, you shit talking to commanders? I support that. Alright. We're gonna go to the desert and do, um... A mission. Blasphemy. <laughs> How did this happen? Well, I'll not judge them. How far? Ridiculous. What am I gonna do? Treasure it. Uh, should I save it here? Yeah. You never know. Yeah. Yep. We should be okay. I bought the stuff we needed. Alright, we might have to do some grinding here. Hmm. I can't believe the waste in this wall has been the close to makes it easier bounty hunting, I suppose. Can't overlook the fact that there's bandits here, as well as monsters. Keeping the desert safe gives me quite the headache. In any case, wait, gives you quite a headache. Oh, okay. All right. This place. Let's go. To the dungeon we go. Monsters seem to be on the rise, even the close capital. It doesn't take long to feel you're really in the wild. Yes. And present times make the capital a popular travel destination. We cannot stand at the only buy. This bounty apparently leads a pack of wild dogs, but it's something called a mongolo? How do you say that? Mangolo? That? Oh boy, I think it's that monster. Hmm. So apparently. Looks like it checked up on us and ran well, back. Yes. Alright. Time to explore. I don't know really... I really don't know what the level of these monsters are. Wait, so... Quest... Mage Knight Healer. Everything's pretty standard. There are enemies We've around. Got to watch your step. Cat. Hey, good one. On your guard. So, oh, there's a beetle here. Nice. And that will find a good spot. Right. How's that? Come on. No choice but to cut through them. <laughs> we oh my god. Oh never mind. Alright. How's that? They saw us. On your toes, everyone. Hey, good one. No choice but to cut through them. Come on. Oink. Whoa. I love it. Get all the loot. Hey, good one. 
exemplary. <laughs> Impressive as ever. We're not alone. Keep an eye out. No choice but to cut through them. All right. Amazing. Hmm. Follow me? Oh. That was brilliant. They all seem pretty weak. You got this. <laughs> Exemplary. Um. Oh, I no see a red enemy over there. Them. They all seem pretty weak. You got this. <laughs> we made short work of them. I see the enemy. Let us settle oh, this. They're weak to fire. Let's go. Place up. Oh, I man. No. The next one's yours. I can't afford. Taste steel. Hit their weak point. Keep it up, nice. troll. Is that put? Right there. Still standing, I see. The Easy peasy. Looks like that's all of them. Great job, everybody! Don't get too relaxed. These monsters are relentless. Alright, I'm just trying to see if there's any more loot. Explore this area. I need the map to be revealed. Come on! All right, we did it. Ba -da -ba -da -ba. All right, let me save it here. Actually, I'll save it here. Me alone. Uh, I did not explore down below. Let me go down. I think we live where there. We should be safe. Um, they really tell me. Yeah, I went down here. Yeah. Seem they are off our trail for the time being. We cannot avoid this fight. Stand ready. We're not alone. Keep an eye out. I think we're in the clear. I do have to be careful because I think there's a high level enemy here. We should go. All right. How's that? I think we're in the clear. Oh, I have to take all of them down. Okay. I thought I just have to take one of the packs down. They all seem pretty weak. You got this. Uh, just push through. Uh, Dad? Exemplary. Uh, how's that? Uh, uh, it. All right. Let's mop this up quick. 
just a bunch of weak ones. We should be fine. Cat? Come on! Alright. How's that? Come on! Alright. How's that? Look. I'm sensing something huge. And it's headed right for us. Seems like it's messing with his pack. Has made it really angry. Oh, here he comes. Damn, it's huge. That's what she said. Sorry, I had to. Between the worms and this guy, the people in the town are essentially trapped. One certainly expects beasts in the desert, but for something like this to appear... No kidding, this isn't the type of fellow to the city guard can handle. We gotta do something. Watch yourself. This is no mere worm or a wild dog. Yeah, I, I can see that just fine. I wonder what level it is. Oh shit, you're level 22. Alright, bro. In the name of justice. Give me your aid. No. No holding back. To the rear guard. Oh, power of heroes. I call upon royal power within! Oh nice, we killed it! And we didn't get any damage too, so... Nice! Easy peasy. However... Even so... Yes. Right. What do you think? Uh, let's keep exploring. I might do a little bit of training. Just a little bit. Uh, how many do I have? I have 24? Hell yeah. New skills, new possibilities. I found new power. New skills, new possibilities. I have a couple of these I can use. I found new power. Um. We can also grind a little bit more money, but I, I'm like really fine with money. Good. I'm still getting stronger. I found new power. I'll get it to like level ten. New skills, new possibilities. Or eleven, basically. I found new power. All right, that should be enough. Uh, equip. Mm, Merchant. Merchant. Oh, I need to get you a new weapon. Like, bad. They all seem pretty weak. You got this. All right. Very How's that? Impressive. I think that's all of them. Our foes have fallen. We are safe. Head time. Uh, Let's push through. Uh, we found something. Uh, Let's take it with us. I think that's all of them. Uh, all right. Hey, How's that? Great job. Uh, Such skill. Let's push through. Uh, impressive as ever. Uh, they all seem pretty weak. Uh, uh, Come on. Impressive as ever. Everything's pretty standard. Let's push through. Amazing. Great moves back there. I think we're hmm. in the clear. I don't see the high level enemy. I mean I'm happy. This is bad. They're on to us. 
Slap right there. There they are. I see the enemy. Come on. Yeah, nice work. What now? Yeah, you're gonna make a lot of money here. Yeah, kind of. Right there. Let's push through. I knew you could do it. I mean, I am making a little bit more money here. I see the enemy. All right. Very How's that? Impressive. Um, I'm gonna save it here. Day. Yeah, it's fine. Save it in this one. Yep. This is after. Oh, yeah, yeah. Save it there. Okay, so I guess we can leave for now. What now? Switch to seeker. seeker. Oh, I don't have any skills. Um uh... Lucky fine and first aid. All right. Wait, I don't have first aid unlock here. Oh, no, wait, it's this one. Back if I what? Yeah, let's go. In that case, leave it to me. I think I found everything. Wait, let me double check right before we leave. I, I think we did double check. Uh, and we have everything in this dungeon. should be fine we also got the gold beetle so we should have six i think my gold beetles oh yeah we have six okay we're good we can leave what galica let's call it okay that wasn't too bad Head back to the city. Got it. I hope at some point there's something we can do where 
once you return to a from a dungeon, you don't have to do this. You don't have to like just go to bed right away. All right. <laughs> All right. Oh. We have to turn the quest tomorrow. So. Guess we're splitting up. Alrighty then. I'm not gonna lie, this food is making me hungry. I want some food. Time now. marches on, and the age of a new okay. king draws so nearer. So we're on the 19th, I think. Yeah, 19. Well then. <sighs> Alright, so we might hang out with Stroll today and then what else? Hang out with Stroll. I wonder. Oh, okay, tomorrow we can um, buy some stuff. It'll be in a bargain. What is it? Amazing. Who's saying that? Who's saying hey there? Seems like there's a lady around me. I don't think it's this lady. Oh, I think it is her. <laughs> what is it? I, okay, I think Stroll's in his in the middle of the town. What do you want, Kim? Don't talk to me. That was kind of rude. I talked to you last time, though. Damn, she went. That kid went from zero to a hundred real quick on me. Rude, much? Very rude. All right. Well, I go with Stroll today. Um. What now? Followers. Okay, we'll hang out with Straw, so we'll get him to level 3. And then... We need to hang out with her. For Greet. Greetita. We need to hang out with you. That'll be rank 2. Oh, I unlocked Stormmaster in rank 3? Ooh. Party can now st study Magic Knight. Oh, that's a new class. Got it. Hmm. Okay. But why? But why not? All right. Stroll, we're coming. Let me uh, clear this from my calendar. Alright, we finished that day. On the 19. Oh my Jesus Christ. Who was that? Over here marking stuff in my calendar. May thank you for the bits. Oh, you're also grinding levels in white mage. What level is your uh, white mage? Hmm. Alright, Stroll, we're wait we're hanging out with you, Terra. Yeah. Hmm. 
Understood. Wait, let me um let me save it. Oh, 55. Oh, okay, not bad. Yeah. Hmm. I hope I can get on today and I do want to um, level up. What was I leveling up? Was it my monk? I think it was monk. Cuz I'm saving samurai for Don Trail. Thanks a bunch. All right, bring it out with Stroll. Hmm. Oh, so Lauren will come here often. Right on cue. Hmm. I guess I could do that with my warrior, but I'm only comfortable doing that with. But yeah, like I said, if we do, if I do get on, you can play as warrior, and I can help you level it up. I also need to level my um, my tanks, uh, especially Dark Knight. I want to try getting that to 100. If I'm not mistaken, you're you're the young lord stroll, are you not? It's an honor to make your acquaintance. No. Truth is, I'm to beg the use of some of the. No. Wow, well, this person's a nice guy. <sighs> they were attacked and forced to flee from their homes. You would still hold them responsible for the lack of means? Yes. So fate was cruel to them and they cannot raise above it? Should they not hold themselves to a higher standard? What the hell? What do you mean? Brother. What? <laughs> what kind of logic is that? Hmm. Besides, what is it? <clears throat> Bro, what? I was so annoyed that, so I was like... Yeah, every time I go into that dungeon, I always mute the dialogue. Always. Like, every single time, I can't deal with that. Who do you believe? Or who do you fight for? <laughs> I have nightmares. Oh my god, and sometimes I go to sleep and I just hear him saying that. Who do you... Who do you fight for? Or what, what is, is it? Who do you fight for? Or who, who do you believe? Something like that. I don't know. But sometimes I have nightmares of it. Hmm. I don't think Stroll's given up. What? Obviously. Hmm. But before I go, I would have you know that these refugees are my peoples, and no matter what your stance on it, I will do everything in my power to save them. Really not. My good lad, I'm not. I'm sure I must come across harshly, but it's not though I have no sympathy for you. Hmm. I'm battered by your parents, shunned by your... You were left in a harsh truth of royal capital too young. It's a pity. I mean, you're still not gonna help him though? Like... Hang on. Stop. Let's not let our tempers get the best of us. This isn't over yet. God, this, this person's a douchebag. Like, can't help out? Little charity, you know? I'm sorry. No. 
Yes. Yes. Wait. Oh. Taking that into account. Interesting. Will there be any clues left? I'm sure there would. Let's go investigate. Well then. Yeah. Not with that mindset. Hey, so. No, we do this together. No, no. <laughs> Thank you. I mean, I hope something's there. Some loot. I'm down for some loot there. Hey. Rank three. Do you believe? Oh my god. <laughs> no. Oh my god. A new power. So the question is made, do you believe? Do you? Of course I'd like you to come, but Trying to return to the others. Give me some of that money. Nighttime. <laughs> okay. So we unlock the new class. So he's weak against when? Oh, so it's the same thing. It's just a second evolution, basically. Wow. I see. Fascinating. This right here. All right. Damn, that's expensive. I'm counting on you. Of course. Yeah. Right. I could get used to this. I wonder why... I mean, sure, go for it. Oh... Do you not wear it? It's fine. Uh, merchant needs a better weapon, but I think eventually we'll get a better weapon. So that's why I don't want to buy anything right now. What is it? Amazing. Right, uh... What in the? Fancy a bit of info. Do I want to? Uh, that is a good question. I don't know if you want to, truly. I think even if you do believe, he's still going to ask you that question. You know? He's still going to be asking you if you believe. What should we do? Stay there. What is it? Oh, I 
Wait, can I turn this quest in? I don't know if I can, but I can check. Surely not. We did it. The money, though. Completed that bounty. So next up is we have to hang out with Ricky. No. <laughs> Wait, tomorrow's a barking day, right? Okay, tomorrow we need to buy some stuff. Sure. Now then. All right, come in. Now then. Ah, is that a dog? Yeah, I'm guessing it's a dog. It's a cute dog. I think, or it's a cat. Cause the last time I was here, I heard a meow. I don't know if that's a dog cat combination, then that's cool. I want you to feed it, play with it, generally take care of it until I return. What? I didn't sign up for that. Listen. There's one rule, however, you cannot let anyone else find out that there's a dog. Oh, it's okay, it's a dog. Is it actually a vicious monster? <laughs> uh, sure. What? Is that it? That sounds simple. Yes. It is, but you can't let your guard down. I mean, I mean it when I say that. I want no mistakes. <laughs> I'm sure you're aware of the anti crowd around here. The fools believe the Niners will destroy the world. Even beyond them, there are plenty of peoples in this world who would jump in a chance to do something crueler than kill me. That's why. This thing is weakness waiting to be exposed, so I have to hide it. I'm interested in you in this matter. Um. Why me? Why? You. Because you're far removed from the business as anyone could be. In case it bears saying, I don't think it think of crossing me. Being associates that have worked for us so far, you don't want us to be enemies. That's right. Her name is no, never mind. Call it what what you want. Uh, I'll call it. I don't know. I don't even know what to name the dog. I'm not good with names. Uh, by the way, ads are starting pretty soon, everyone. Mm. It seems strangely attached to you already. I see. Aww, it's so cute. I suppose you do have some surprising skills, such as using magic without a niter. Did you look into me? Whoa. Utterly naive. If it could impact my niter business, it's my job to know about it. And that's not all. Word has it that you. Your entourage can transform your bodies for combat somehow. Hey yo! I hear stalking me. Speaking of, 
Long ago, there existed an ultimate magic. They said the Hero King of Legend wielded a power very much like yours. <laughs> Though I sincerely doubt you'll be following in his footsteps. Why did you have to roast me like that? You. I'll be frank, Linka. You're bad for business, but this is precisely why I'm going to lend you my power. I'm selling igniters because of they turn a profit, but I hate the damn things from the bottom of my heart. <sighs> Makes sense. Those on top make a lot of profit off bleeding the... The strong get even stronger and the weak are only cast even further down. As it is. I mean, I get what she means. That is true. The richer get richer, and the weak, Yet the the poor get poorer. You know. Farewell. Uh, done already. Huh? <laughs> oh, okay. I mean, all right. Easy job. See you. Until next time, we'll be waiting, or at least the dog will. All right. Time marches on, and the age of a new king draws nearer. Alright, let's see. What do we got today? Oh, I gotta buy some stuff. It's bargain day. Well, then. Hmm. That's right. Time to buy some stuff. What now? The freedom of a wanderer. What is it? Okay, this is a. Oh yeah, ten grand cheaper. Yeah. I basically want to buy like the rare stuff, like unique things. Hey, listen. Hey. Hello there. So the only thing I need to buy is the doll thing. I need to buy four of them. And then we should be okay. I'll show you the essence of truth. 115. With sword in hand, I cut a path by the chivalrous spirit of the knight. 120. I'll let my fist do the talking. Hmm. The power of healing. Coin can solve problems a blade cannot. Okay, so I need a better merchant and knight. By the chivalrous spirit of the knight. Oh no, I think it's brawler. I'll let my fist do the talking. Yeah. Hello there. I wonder. Welcome back from the ads, everyone. Hello there. Oh, that's the same thing. Okay. What now? Hey. Hello there. Um.
Huh. Mage. Is Why that better not? than what I have, though? I think it's better. I'll show you the essence of truth. Ah, uh, still the same thing. 115. What now? Hey. Hello there. Hill. Not the weapon I was thinking of. What now? I don't know if I should just emprise all of them and then sell it. I mean, I don't think I'm gonna get better gear. Okay. Hello there. I mean, oh, that is not good. It's actually not that bad. Not bad, not Why bad not? at all. Hey. Hello there. What's it this one? I think it was this one. Wait, I forgot which one it was. Oh, it was just the armor one. Hello, Actually, man. what does that one do? Oh, okay. Same thing. What now? Damn, if I can get an endurance and strength, that'll be nice. Hello, man. Hundred and endurance three. Not bad. Really? Ah, oh, speaking of broke merchant. Hold up. What now? That's actually pretty funny. What now? I was just saying I need a better weapon for hey. the merchant class. What now? Coin can solve problems a blade cannot. Alright, let me save it here. Hello there. Emperor's weapon. Is it always gonna be 114? I'm gonna test this out. What now? Might be the same weapon all the time. It's which is fine. I do need a better weapon, hey. so. Hello there. One hundred and thirty-three. That's much better. What now? So we can get a hundred and fourteen or a hundred and thirty-three weapon. Okay, so it's better just to um, try going for the 133. Hey. Hello there. No, give me the 133. Why don't not? be like that game. You just gave it to me right now. Don't don't do it. Hey. Hello there. Game? Stop Why it. Not? I know you can give me the 133. Hey. Hello there. Thank you. What now? Yeah, that's way better. So what is your armor? 90? Okay. Yeah. Hello there.
Was it this one? Oh, it was that one. It was the superior one. Okay. What now? So that one was 115. I wonder if there's a different set of armor you can get. Hello there. Or it's the same. Endurance plus three. Okay. What now? That was not too bad. Hey. Hello there. Is it always going to be Endurance 3? What now? Hmm. Hey. It might be. Hello there. Oh, actually, no. That one's 93. What so now? there's a lower tier. So I'm guessing the 115 one is the highest, like the best one you can get. Hey. Hello there. Oh, interesting. 123, but this one doesn't have endurance three. Oh, it has an evasion. Not bad. Not bad at all. I might keep that one. What now? I might actually keep that one. Or I could give her the endurance one. Her defense will go down, but her endurance would go up. It will put her on 40. Hmm. Welcome back from the ads, everyone. I mean, more defense is much better. I don't know. Because it was 115 with Endurance 3. Seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two. Her defense will go down by eight. Eh, we'll keep that one for now. Why not? It could be worse. It could be worse. All right. What now? The freedom of a wanderer. Good. Okay, so today hey, listen. we just have the razor stats. Check something one more hey. uh, one more time. This is on sale. We just have to wait for the nine market where you can buy the expensive um, hey, accessories. Hey. Hello there. I mean. Brawler has what a ninety? What now? Yeah, that's fine. Okay, we should be good. Now we just have to hang out with um 
activist woman and all right oh you know what since it's bargain day let me check something else Oh my god, I don't know why I keep coming this way. But what? Whatever should I do? Oh, everything is still expensive. Oh, no, never mind. It's still the same. I don't think we increase defense. It would be nice if there was a comparison option. We can compare it. I mean, that's not bad. Increases light attack strength. This is for a healer. I think there's a trophy to get this. I could be wrong. I'm actually thinking about getting these two. I mean, we can test it out right now. Let me check. What is this trophy for? Oh, okay. All right, we're gonna test something. Did that count? Ah, I did. Nice. Why not? Well, guess what? I don't want that. Closure. Hmm. <laughs> Increases damage against undead. Kind of worthless. Honestly, the only thing I might get is the Skepter. Like, this is pretty good. But... To be fair, I'm not really going to be using Healer that much. I'll probably be using, um, Seeker. So, yeah. Alrighty, then. Okay, all I need to remember is to go to the night market. That's all I'm missing to buy. Well, I'm in trouble. Oh, sorry. I still haven't managed to collect any many donations for the cause. I'm really sorry to ask, but if you don't mind, you'll be able to afford a pitch. Um, sure. Thank you. I swear I'll use your donation best Appreciate as I can. It. I don't believe you. You really donated. Are you interested in our activists? If you don't mind, could I discuss this more with you? I know I'm doing the right thing. The reality is so discouraging. Sure. Oh, I got with her. Oh, how wonderful. Then please come this way. What a great deal of wisdom or skills and possible for them to get normal jobs.
Um, actually, no, there's other options because... There is one other option. Um, that's terrible. I don't know about that. Even though they're all over and consider useful tools, blood is being spilled. I don't have many peoples on my side and I haven't been able to help many peoples yet, but knowing there are peoples like you out there gives me confidence to go on. People like you who see injustice or actually try to do something about it. This world will be a better place with more peoples like you. Aww. All right. Appreciate the kind words. Hey, Crash. Welcome in. Thank you for redeeming your daily q and Not much, but here. Thank you for your support. I really appreciate you hearing us. Well, hearing me out. What are you up to, Crash? <laughs> what is it? Amazing. Fancy a bit. Wait, what did it say? Oh, his prices go down too. Oh. It's going pretty well. Just leveling my stats. We um we did a quick dungeon. It was really small. I just had to go well, it was a bounty. So we did a bounty. We came back. Now I'm just raising my stats. But actually, what's tomorrow? What now? Mm, the weapon store discount. Alright, so we'll buy. Four of you. Should I buy one of these? Nah. Vince forget. Hmm. Uh, but it's nice to see you, Crash. Thanks for hanging out. What now? Alright, so I'm gonna give you that, and then I'll also give you one. I should probably give them all one. Should I? I'll test it out. I'll see if this is a good strategy. It might not be the best. Y'all get the accessories. Uh, what are you doing? Are you playing some 14 right now? <sighs> well, as long as someone dealt with it, everyone can protect the country. I'm fine with it. Well, this person's just like... Whoever's the king, it is what it is, whatever. Rain. 
All right, so what do we do today? Hang out with the uh, shatter. Hmm. Oh hey! Can I talk to that guy. Oh, he just woke up. Well, I hope he slept good. I could hang out with him. I need to double check. Did I buy everything I need? I bought the stuff. What now? Should be okay. Now, how did I wind up here? Oh. Oh, oh. Sure. But... I know I'm rare, but do you need to make a big deal of it? I should explain. My family has something in history with fairies. As a boy, my parents would even tell me stories about fairies before bed. Would you care for me to tell I you one? Wonder. So you, so you grew up with fairy tales. No wonder you have fairies on your mind. Uh, I'm sure we'll hang out with them. My thanks. Just waking up, we'll probably hop on. Sounds good. I think May's playing right now. Maybe you want to um, play with her. Long ago. Now, this story goes back to my grandfather's grandfather. Once far, far away, there was a village out of the countryside. There was a cave nearby that the villagers, villagers prohibited anyone from entering, but one day my ancestor, who was just a boy, then decided he had to see for himself. So he defied his elders. Your ancestors sound like a handful. Everyone's in the family. Ha! <laughs> anyway, sure enough, he ventured in deep inside and soon became swallowed in darkness, hopefully lost. Wait, I read it wrong. Hopefully he's lost. Okay, never mind. And for not, he was still just a boy and his bravery failed him. He sank to his knees in the dark, crying pitifully. But then something bad in the warm light caught his eye. As he approached him, the little light actually spoke, saying, Pipe down. You can cry in a place like this. He was shocked. After he got a good look, the boy realized it was a fairy. Called him in light. He was so relieved, his tears only magnified. But the fairy couldn't bear it. Throwing her arms, she said, If you want to cry so badly, fine. Suit yourself. And then she left. But before he knew it, the fairy returned. Come on, follow me, she said. She said she had a sense of danger, beast deep in the cave, and compassion won the day. She decided to get him safely back to the entrance. Oh, yeah? Huh, I thought fairy was kind of cruel at first, but I guess she was a good heart. When they arrived in the cave's mouth... The boy turned to thank the fairy, but she had already disappeared into the air. Oh my. Oh, that was a nice, peaceful, cute story. All right. Well, Imagination. Then. Time marches on, and the age of a new king draws nearer. Wait, when did they say they were going to announce something? In the 22? So tomorrow. The announcement is soon. Oh yeah, it's tomorrow. Okay. No. I wouldn't hold your breath on one. We're just waiting for the next story, um story arc so we're now we just prep hang out with people's raise our social stats <laughs> oh you're welcome my friend this person's so nice to me 
Uh, so the 21, what do we do today? We can hang out with... Oh, we actually had enough time. Why was I stressing out about that? Am I missing something here? We, s we did the dungeon. Stroll's level... What now? Yeah, he's level 3. Hulkenberg's level 2. Oh, I think it's because I didn't cook. Maybe I didn't cook in one of those days. It's fine. Looking at my notes. There's another execution. How many executions are there? Kill them, kill them now. Who's laughing like that? Whoever's laughing like that, you're scaring me. Just saying. That's an evil laugh for sure. Uh, I'm just trying to... Oh, actually. I haven't went to the new store. Wait, not that way. Oh, I could just teleport there. Let me check something before we progress to the story. Okay. Ooh, this place looks nice. Incredible. Ridiculous. Just who do you think you are? Don't tell me someone of your lower. St who the hell are you talking to, bro? You're lucky I can't kill you right now. You're lucky I'm a good guy in the game. Surely this shop has standards. It can't be this low that would sell one to you. Do you know? Are you trying to make a fool out of me? But in, in the interest of charity, allow me to impact the basics of mate. Bro, you don't- No, I don't even want to talk to you. No, I don't even listen to you, bro. Just shut your mouth. Guys, disrespectful. Welcome. Yeah, kick that guy out of the store, please. He was just being rude to me. You have my thanks. Eighty K holy expensive money. Ooh, a multi-target electricity skill? Oh, they're all multi. Ooh. No wonder they're expensive. Damn. Oh, well, at least I know where to go if I want to buy one of these. Well. Uh, we have to go talk to that lady again. Meet again. I still haven't managed to collect many donations for the cause. I'm really sorry to ask, but if you don't mind, might you be able to afford a pitch a little? Yeah. There you go. 
Thank you. I swear I'll use your donation as best I can. If, if you can sometime, could we chat again? Sorry, I just started losing my confidence about all this again. Happy to hear that. Oh, how wonderful. Then please come this way. I may have mentioned it before, but there are others aside when raising like this. I feel like... I don't know why I want to believe her, but what do I feel like I'm getting scammed? I'm not sure if you have an opportunity to meet them, but the fate would have it. Could you hear them out? All right. Never mind. Maybe I do believe her. Maybe she's not scamming me. Barry does. Well then. Thank you. Is Maria still crying in her room? No, she's still crying. It's so disrespectful that we cannot give her a hug. Nice, Rob. Waiting is exhausting. I'm with you on that. What is it? Amazing. Mm -hmm. Checking around if there's anything here. Fancy. Nothing. What is it? Calendar. Alright, so tomorrow's the announcement. Okay, I guess we could hang out with the chatty guy again. Stay there. Hmm. I think Magic Shop's only open at night, right? Why don't we go check out what we can? I mean I already did. Oh, wait, where am I going? What are y'all talking about? <laughs> These two are like, let's go steal something. I'm gonna tell on you. We're gonna listen to another um, fairy story. How fine! I love it. Now, how did I wind up oh here? Right, this is the last thing we need to do today, right? And then the twenty-two. Okay. What do you want to do? My thanks. Also, mischievous sword, and one day he too ventured into the forbidden cave and became hopefully That's lost. Awful. <laughs> so, people just kept getting lost in the cave, and this fairy, the same fairy, or maybe a different fairy, kept saving them. So every generation, someone will go. Okay, I get that. You people die so young. The fairy led to my grandma out of the cave like she did his grandfather before. The whole time, he kept his grandfather's regrets in his mind. So before she could vanish, he turned to her and said, Thank you for helping my grand grandfather. If you're wondering if. If you're wondering if history will repeat, I doubt it. My family had to leave the village when my grandfather grew up. So I'm sure you can appreciate how... Assuming I find a, f a fairy here. Oh, that was a cute story. Kind of. I mean, it was, it was a nice, cute little story. Well then. 
All right, the announcements today. It would seem the disaster was averted. Right then, today's Forden's big announcement. Wonder what he's planning. I guess the church has to have some reaction to all that stuff the king said. Whatever it is, Luis won't be able to just ignore it. This might be a day that goes down in history. Ladies and gents, lend me your ears. Sanctifex Borden has spoken. The giant face in the sky, the massive rocks appearing throughout the land, and the mysterious voice claiming to be the past king. The Sanctus Church has officially recognized these happenings as the will of His Royal Majesty. <gasps> so it really is His Majesty. And so, as His Majesty has decreed, whoever has gained the greatest trust of the people by the day of decision shall be our new king. This is a historic moment, good citizens. It's revolutionary. It's unprecedented. No matter who you are, you can take the throne. He really knows Anyone, how to hype the crowd. Even me. If, and this is a big if, you are the person that all our people trust most in their hearts. Maybe you could be king yourself, eh? You're popular enough. Me? In charge? <laughs> Well, that's the last thing this country needs. <laughs> right, let's review what we know, shall we? First, the new faces that have appeared on the rock. It shows us who's foremost in the running. We've worked out that much. The top three of the lot are also shown in the sky. Suppose that way you can see their inspiring faces anytime, anywhere. Hold on. How's us common folks supposed to stand a chance against all these upper crusters? Say you do become popular. With your face clear for all to see, surely that'd make you a prime target for assassination. Not quite, friend. Not quite. A valid concern, but one His Majesty prepared for. Popular aspirants, at least those who make it onto the rock, are protected by royal magic. Assassinations off the table. Magic chains will spring to life and bind anyone who tries. I saw it happen with my own eyes to Count Luis's sorry assailant. So, literally anyone could be king? Even a pauper? Or a slave? Or a criminal? But hold on, you mean to say we might not be ruled by Clamar? What does that mean for us? Right, I've said my piece. You know all I know. Now go forth, ladies and gents, and spread the word. Whether you're from our fair capital, or the middle of nowhere, the crown's within your grasp. Anyone in the land could be our next king. He's so excited for this. Second like game. Who is gonna be the next king? I heard the announcement. The church has chosen to recognize this face's words as crown sent and shall abide by them. They conceded that one quickly. Though I suppose it's a hard thing to deny, what with the royal palace hanging up there in the clouds. Had they rushed a coronation for his eminence, Forden, it would have dashed any hope of reinstating his highness. A small comfort. I can tell from your face, there's some bad news too. Do you recall those chains that froze Alces in place? It seems that too was part of his majesty's magic. Plainly, any candidates of sufficient favor cannot be deposed by force. Uh oh. Well, I mean, they don't know we have to duel him. Yeah, so we can't assassinate him. Um, uh, that's not good. That's not good. No, tis not indeed. This marks Luis as nigh untouchable. I will still seek to find him. Yet, even should we stand before the man himself, we could not kill him. I mean, we could challenge him. No. If we can't kill him, then how do we break the curse? What the hell was the king thinking? Grius was trying to save his son. He died for it. Even so, without this magic, no aspirant would be safe from assassination, leading Luis to dominate through sheer martial strength. <sighs> we appear to be at an impasse. 
I mean, at least we cannot get assassinated. Everyone, have you seen Maria? Did something happen? I checked her room and she isn't there. Oh. She wouldn't just leave without telling anyone. I, I couldn't deal with losing both of them. I. Um, I'll go look for her. I'll go look for her. You, you will. Thank you. When I think of what might happen to her. If she left her room on her own, she must have had some reason. Let's go search for her. If we head into town, we might find some clues. Where? You're kidding. Fall Guys? Oh, brother. Don't remind me of Fall Guys. I hated that event <laughs> so much in Passion. Army took care of the Necromancer everyone's been talking about. Should have been Judge here. That would have been everyone's feel. That would have made everyone feel better. <laughs> Count Louis 2024. Hey Leah, welcome in. I think that's why I didn't like it. At some point, I just got over it. Uh, but hope you're doing well, uh, Leo. Thank you for thank you for coming by. The nightmare first. There's a human, then a necromancer. I had it up here with all this chaos. No, not fuck, guys. Did Hello. They... Oh, taxes. True, they're too high. Well, well. But you do agree. I mean, yeah, I would love them to remove taxes. Wouldn't that be a dream? I've been thinking on this topic quite some time, Professor. Wouldn't it be this country's best entrance if you were to become the next king? You're referring to the throne, correct? Wow, this guy has an ego. I know where she could have went. Oh, you're still grinding them? How many have you uh, maxed out? a girl like that walk in the streets alone you're just asking for trouble oh she went inside wait you let her pass why the way her eyes looked it's not one to stop her she's been coming to pray for a while no matter how many glares she gets oh poor maria Everyone's worried about you. Everyone was worried about you. Sorry. Papa hasn't come home. And I always come here whenever I'm feeling lonely. Oh, I think she still hasn't accepted that he's dead. Oh, shit. 
One time he came here to get me. I remember because he called my name. But I pray, and he still doesn't come back. Maybe because the cathedral is broken? Maria. Miss Fabian says Papa can't come home anymore, but I know... Uh... Papa's gone away. He's gone somewhere I'll never see him again. Hasn't he? Bro, why does the game do this to me? Why? Like, I... Like, why? Like, it, it doesn't have to be like this. It's... It's going to be so lonely. The loneliest it's ever been. But I have to be strong, don't I? But if it gets any lonelier, I... I don't know if I can do it. I'm sorry. I promised we'd all come back together. Why does everyone always leave? Mum was sick. The king and prince are gone. And now Papa? Why does everyone always leave? Is it my fault? I really did my best to be a good girl, but... That's not why. He's right, Maria. It's not your fault at all. Listen to me, all right? Your father, he... He was fighting a very bad man. We were with him. But we couldn't protect him. I'm sorry. I remember Papa saying something like that. He said, a really bad man might be our king. Was that part of it? It's going to be all right. Don't worry. Hmm. I hope the next king is as nice as you. Then oh. maybe things won't always be so sad. Mm. In my ideal world, people can believe in their future. Their birth doesn't matter. The prince told me that once. I think I understand the king's intentions now. Maybe this is the sort of tragedy he was trying to end. Maybe he wanted a world where the crown goes to one who acts like a king ought to. Not whoever's willing to spill the most blood to do it. You may be right, but much as we wish it, this is not a fight that might be ended through words alone. Even so, we have to try. Or to make some thoughts for the Maria, you're safe! Oh, you had me worried sick. Oh, Maria. 14 max on 12 on strong 13. Oh, you're trying to level all of them for each character. Oh, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> I'm only going to do that for the main character. That's all I need to do. I give you props, though, Leo. That's, that's determination. I'm sorry for leaving on my own. No, it's all right. Miss Fabian. I, I'm hungry. Maria. <laughs> Yes, that's right. Let's all sit down for some supper together. Thank you for finding her. It looks like she's worked things out. She's a strong girl. But we've more troubles ahead. How now do we resolve this curse upon his highness? I still don't think it was him who put the curse, just saying. If Luis is the curse's caster, we've got to kill him to dispel it. I don't believe so that. how do we do that if he's shielded by the king himself? Um, I mean, I wouldn't mind doing that, but I'll probably do that, like, maybe near the end game. But, yeah. It's always not the bad one. Yeah, but they believe that he's the one who put the curse in the prince. And I don't think it was him. Their plan is to kill him, and then hopefully that removes the curse away from the prince, but again, I don't think it was him. Plus, we can't even kill him now, because this whole voting the next king, he's protected by the magic, so we can't even kill him. That's what they're trying to figure out right now, like, what's the next plan?
we can't even kill him, so. I wish I could report back, but the prince is still asleep, and we're losing time. I don't think going back to the village is an option. We cannot lose faith yet. There must be some further course we can pursue. Well, there's the church's announcement. I expect they're trying to stop a wave of rival candidates from flooding the standings. I doubt the church would accept this popularity contest if they didn't already have a plan to game it. True enough. I can only wonder at their aims. For today, we should content ourselves with rest and recovery. Haven't we been recovering for the past few days? Just saying. <sighs> Sorry, did I wake you? Yes. Laying here, I always end up caught in my own thoughts. Grius and Maria. The prince. <sighs> just thinking in circles again. Not good, is it? Wait a minute, I just realized this. Grius is in the game. He literally went from four Final Fantasy fourteen to this game. <laughs> oh, I just realized that too. I'm like, wait a minute. He was in fourteen. Uh, I'm not a... I'm not awake enough for this. Grius. Isn't that his name? The one who's like, do you believe? Isn't that his name? I forgot. Oh, never mind. It sounds kind of the same. Listen, I haven't played 14 in a while, okay? It sounded the same to me. <laughs> I don't know why. His voice. No, like the name. I don't know why I thought that was the same name. Let me think about it together. Try to calm your mind. Yeah, I don't know why I thought the name sounded the same. Um, let's think about it together. Let's think about it together. <laughs> Keeping me company, are you? You really are a strange one. My Can I really stop strange, saying that? If I'm honest. That book. Is that the novel you're always carrying around? <laughs> Feels like months ago now that I spotted you buried in it on the carriage ride to the fort. Uh, want to read it? Want to read it? If you don't mind, since we finally some room to breathe. Oh, interesting. It's written through the lens of a fictional land. This bit's about the Utopia's security. I like how we're reading the book with like different characters because we read it with uh, Galia first and then we read it with Maria and now we're reading it with, you know, Leon. I think the next person we'll read it with is maybe Hulkenberg. In this world, there is no bloodstained contest for sovereignty. The people choose their sovereign from among themselves. One cannot put a sovereign to the sword to seize power. Such an act would be met with scorn and judged as murder. Also, by the way, just for everyone who might get the wrong idea, I see a lot of people talk about how when they read the book, this fantasy world that they're talking about, they think it's our world, but it's not. This is not our world. <laughs> this is another world. Like, like it can't even be our world because let's be honest, like there's a lot of shit happening in our world. And not only that, as you can tell, there's some people with shields, so this is not a world. This is like a make-believe other world. A Taking perfect power world. power or wealth by force is seen as the most shameful of transgressions. <laughs> Couldn't be further from reality, could it? Hmm? We have a Kingslayer on the brink of seizing the throne right now. And this idea of competing for public support. Here it sounds so commonplace, but the idea has thrown us all into chaos. Interesting. Perhaps I'm overthinking, but it sounds almost like the aim of the king's magic. You suppose there's some common inspiration? Still, I don't imagine this would turn out well in the real world. In public opinion, tribal perspective always divides us. Besides, yeah. does a decision made by the people guarantee its right? Tribal squabbles aren't always political. Take us Clamars, for example. It can be hard for us to see outside the bubble of our own worldview. We're the majority, and the tribe of the royal bloodline besides. That privilege can make us... insensitive. A problem with no easy solution. 
I fear. Lofty words. I can hardly come to terms with my own ideals, still. The discussions helped clear my head a little. Thank you. I've been so fixated on killing Luis, but... Maybe we could look into whether that's really the only way to lift the curse. <gasps> yeah? <sighs> Sleep should come easier now. I think I'll give it another chance. Wait, how like, long have you been asleep? Um, I'm an easy sleeper. What I don't understand is like, there's, there's no way. I actually don't believe that there isn't a mage out there who can remove the curse. There has to be somebody out there. Like, come on, man. Really? There's no mage, nothing out there that can cure it. I just feel like that's kind of baloney. Just saying. There has to be a way besides killing Time the caster. Marches on, and the age of a new king draws nearer. Early morning. Ladies and gents, have you heard the news? The curtain's about to rise on the show of a lifetime. To choose our new ruler, we're going to give all of you a chance to take center stage in a show of power for the whole kingdom. What is this freaking fantasy god talent? And we call it the tournament for the throne. I should have seen that coming. Our aspirants will set out on a grand tour of the three allied nation's capitals, taking part in a variety of exciting trials. First, we have the Exhibition of the Brave. Slay a monster plaguing our fair people and bring its head to Oceana's capital in time. Biggest find takes the win. Official word is, this event's open to all. So what do you think, ladies and gents? Are you in it to watch or in it to win? He loves this. He's, he's like, this is so entertaining. I'm going to make a lot of money. He needs to be getting paid for this. There's no way he's doing this for free. Stroll? Why call us so early in the morning? What is that journal? I had Fabienne bring it up. Something occurred to me, so I asked her to go through Grius's personal effects. Hey, looks like he was investigating the curse too. There's a note here. Given the spell's complexity, it must have required a scribed formula. You mean to suggest... Luis possesses a written composition of the curse somewhere? And if we can find that... Yes! I'd wager, even if we can't kill Luis, we might still have a shot at breaking the curse. But... Okay. That attack took place years ago, didn't it? This curse's formula could be lost for good. We have little choice, but I hope it's not. I'm not saying it would be easy. And the real trick will be finding it. We wouldn't leave it unprotected. That reminds me. A crier for the church was handing these out. A flyer for the tournament for the throne. This popularity contest is state-sponsored now. <laughs> An interesting gamble for those politicians. I like the bit about all this being in the interest of fairness, those weasels. But saying it's being organized by the state. The throne's empty. This smells like the theocracy at work. Probably Forden himself. You think Forden's looking to fix the competition in his favor? Oh, yeah. He's been in first place this whole time. In the interest of fairness, remember? If he wins a fair race, he gets legitimized, and Luis gets put on the back foot. That bodes ill. Those with existing support could easily solidify their claim. Even should His Highness wake, he may lose the throne. If we don't hurry and find a way to get close to Luis, we're sunk. Ah, what are we supposed to do? We need a plan and we can't and then we can take action. I'm an outcast in the city. I think that gives us an advantage here. Uh, I mean, we are an outcast. Many of the peoples in the city might relate to us. Some of them hate me, but I mean, yeah, I, we make him come to us. We'll make Luis come to us. 
How would we accomplish that? We're but strangers to him, and he gains nothing from it. Let's enter this tournament for the throne. Huh? Hey, were you even listening to us? But that's the thing, well, we'll get more eyes on us. And then he will have to come to us because he'll feel like we're a target, like we're a threat. Besides, the prince isn't exactly in a position to take part in... Wait. I mean... It sounds crazy, but I think he might be onto something there. This could be just the excuse we need to get close to Luis. He doesn't mm -hmm. care about your tribe so long as you prove capable, yes? That's what Zorba was saying. Which means, even though the world looks down on you as an elder, having the power to kill humans puts you in his good graces. Yeah, we can try to m make him be like, yo, this guy's pretty, co pretty good. You know, m join us. You're going to make him a candidate for the throne? Why do you say it like that? You don't believe in me or what the hell? If all we need to do is get Luis's attention, then that's sure to get the job done. If we're lucky, he might even try to recruit us. That's what I'm saying. I see. An undercover operation, is it? Quite a gambit. But it may well be our best chance at finding this formula. Just hold on a second. Getting Luis's attention is all well and good. But remember who's actually risking their life here. I mean, I'm fine with it. Uh, rank will be dangerous if I found if I'm found out. I'll be good as dead. What do you think? Having heard all this, do you want to enter the running? It's fate. <sighs> no point fighting with fate. Your courage is admirable. Right. I'm reminded of the words Prince spoke to me when I was in our youth. In my ideal world. People can believe in their future. Their birth, no matter who someone is. Oh, I didn't mean to skip they that. deserve a fair country. Wait. In my ideal world, people can believe in their future. Their birth doesn't matter. If it's to help achieve that, I will stand for the prince as a candidate for the throne. Sheesh. So much for being a guide. Now you're the one leading me around. Your resolve has marked you a fine fit for the role. I have trusted you with my life before, and would gladly do so again. Alright, we're going for it. Shit's about to go down. It's gonna be kind of rough, though. Every, a lot of people hate us, so... It's gonna be Good interesting. Heavens. Haven't you put yourself in enough danger? Nah. Listen to me. I don't want you going down the same path he did. Are you really this set on running off again? <laughs> I'll admit I'm nervous. I have to carry on his legacy. I... I have to carry on his legacy. I see. Well... I'm sure he'd be glad to hear it. I'll be cheering for you in this mess of a competition. Truth be told, I wish I could do more than feed and shelter you. What's the competition? Uh, it's competition of reading a book. It's a big grand race to see who will be the next king. Oh, we're gonna tell her to come. The whole country will be watching. So you're going to try and become king? Wow, then I'll cheer for you as loud as I can. <laughs> you have your first advocate, it seems. Let's go, I'm winning already. Suppose you'll have to actually try for the throne now, eh? Your Majesty. I'll never actually succeed. <laughs> I really want to say this. Just to be a troll. Oh my god. I'll never actually succeed. What a way of confidence. Um, yeah, well, that's the plan. That was the plan from the start. <laughs> that's the spirit. Well, if we want Luis to notice you, we'll have to make quite a stir among the people. Maybe reaching for the throne will do it. You know, it'd be a good start, changing my outfit. That's something I wish they would do. I hope they do that. Like, maybe throughout the game, you have different outfits or something. I don't know. Does that mean you're not coming back? 
No, we'll be back. Although we might be a while. <sighs> I don't like when it gets lonely. Maria. But I'll be cheering for you. I hope you win the race. You'd be a good king. We'll meet again. We'll see each other again. You better not forget. Watch me forget. Now, we best get registration out of the way, but we'll need some legs for the journey. It's mostly lawless wastes between cities. Oh, do I get my own gunner? Oh, please tell me I do. Judging by this specified deadline, we are unlikely to reach the Principality of Oceana's capital in time on foot. You know what I also notice with uh, Leon? He's, he's always tapping his leg. Like, he's always, like, I don't know, if you ever see him when you're talking to him or there's any dialogue scenes, he's always tapping his leg. <laughs> it's like a habit of him. I bet all these fancy nobles have their own gauntlet runners to ride in. Lucky them. A carriage might save our chances, if we could find one. Perhaps we split up for now. I'll leave you two to the registration. They should be taking entrance at the recruitment center. Okay. Well, shit's about to hit the this fan. This should be the place, right? Excuse us. We're looking to join the tournament for the throne. Hey, be young, ain't ya? And who's the kid? He with you? Oh, oh. I'm asking the questions here. Game, you're really testing me right now. You're really testing me. Part of me wants to say this. I'm the one asking questions here. I feel like if I say this, something... I don't know. Let's just go with this one. I'm the one entering. You? Really? Yes, really. I've not heard of any age restrictions. They're a problem? Well... I'd not have thought it, but you're an elder, ain't ya? And you wanna be king. Well, the novelty of it might win you some looks. Could you just do your job, please? Can he register? Or I know, not? nobody asked for your opinion. <laughs> like, I really don't understand. Ah, an elder. Now that I think of it. Uh oh, it's the sheep guy. Weren't you in that pack of recruits that went off to the northern fort? Uh-oh. Thought I heard they were all wiped out. Um, I, 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 I think you're thinking of someone else, like... What? We got a deserter turning up. Oh, uh, shit. I saw him when we entered the building, and I knew this shit was going to happen, too. I had a bad feeling. <laughs> No, they said he'd just dragged the company down, so they left him at the capital. He, um, got on the captain's bad side. Could swear I've seen you before, too. Well, hardly matters with no captain to verify it with. Go on, then. You can represent the lesser tribes so nobody complains. Wow, dude. You're so nice. Appreciate that. <sighs> that was a close one. And, uh, obviously, you're gonna need a carriage. Otherwise, the whole thing's off for you. And you're obligated to attend the opening ceremony tomorrow. It'll be at the plaza at the Grand Cathedral. Don't be late. Okay. We'll have to hope Hulkenberg can find us a carriage. Did he desert? No, um, so, like, remember the first dungeon we went into? Um, our commander, he, he set us up. Like, everybody who went on the first mission, we were supposed to die. Everybody was supposed to die. But we survived, so... That's why he was questioning, like, um, why are you two here? But, yeah. I had no idea. Yeah, but the thing is, is the commander's still alive. We didn't really kill him. We, we kind of fought him in the beginning, but then... We didn't capture him, so we don't know where he's at. He's out there somewhere. I don't know. Which is kind of scary, because if he does come back and he lets everyone know that 
like in a way that yeah if we deserted the mission we're pretty much screwed we, we didn't desert we didn't leave the mission we survived we were supposed to die but they were not expecting anybody to live so it's, it's a tricky situation as for us i expect we should see about finding a monster to slay if it's not impressive enough Luis won't look twice at you some postings over there they should be offering bounties on monsters the guard can't handle let's take a look i just did a bounty though i need to do another one looks like everyone else had the same idea one of these bounties is bound to make me stand out but which bigger is probably better hang on there's nothing but small time contracts here are you not here for this tournament then? Bit slow, I'm afraid. Most of my worthiest monster bills have already been snapped up by other competitors. Damn. How about requests on anything aside from monsters? Bounties include criminals too, right? Hmm. I suppose I've got one of those, yes. Hmm. Let's see. Well, he's horrible. Heisme. A villainous kidnapper. Looks like the army's been trying to catch him for a while now. This might just be perfect. <laughs> you have any oh, hello. Who that is. That man's an elite. An ex royal knight, they say. He'd make short work of a scrawny little urchin. You can be sure of that. Bro, why is everybody talking shit? Like, can I just pull my sword out? Like, I feel disrespected. Besides, didn't you hear what it is they're actually looking for? Oh, of course. It's about whoever can bring in the biggest monster head, right? I like his outfit, though. If you imbeciles can't even get that straight, you've no chance at winning. They want kingly types, not children play acting. Homie, let me take out my sword right now. Let me just take it out. Nobody will see. I'll make it quick. And he walks away. Stuck up, little... Is that the kind of competition we can expect? This game is really pissing me off. All this shit talking to us. You Leave me alone. The rules, though. What are you thinking? I mean, we did a bounty earlier. Don't worry. I know what I'm doing. We're supposed to get a monster's head. So why are you going for a criminal? Any idea I... what he's up to? I mean... <laughs> Maybe he has a big <laughs> He has one saved around. Um Prince Call, he wants his purple raincoat back. <laughs> that was good, that's good. That's a good one. Yeah. Where's Prince at? <laughs> that's a good one. Thank you. Everybody's just rude to us. Dear Lord, I, I know why. I know why. It's just like, bro, you're, you're lucky. Like, if I was controlling the game, like, if I made this game, I would just... Ooh. Um... <laughs> I feel like saying this one. I don't know why. I mean, we don't need to win. We just have. I don't know. Maybe it's because we don't actually have to win. <laughs> Sharp as always, Captain. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Like, we don't have to have the biggest target. Don't worry, I'll explain everything later. As long as you can convince Hulkenberg, I guess. I trust him. Oh there. Are you really taking the bounty on Heisman? Um. Maybe. <laughs> you three must be heaven sent. Please, would you listen to our plight? Uh, sure. Your pardon, gentlemen. I'm Barden, a guard captain for Matira, a town to the south. The bounty on me is up at my behest. Oh, so you put up the bounty. Okay. A guard captain? This fellow's made some powerful enemies. Time in. We can't afford lenience. 
On top of his past crimes, Heisme has stooped to abducting our wee ones. Our children. Selling them off, some say. If our city becomes known for nightly disappearances, what sane resident would stay? Community and trade will dwindle and die. Okay, that's low-key evil. Kidnapping kids? Like... All right. But he's just a lone kidnapper, right? Even if he's some infamous criminal, why can't the guard handle it? That's the trouble. He makes his hideout somewhere too dangerous for our soldiers to tread. Deep in the territory of vicious giant worms. We've mm. no idea how he manages to operate out there without getting devoured himself. I see. Tricky problem indeed. I had no choice but to swallow my pride and post a bounty. Yet no matter how many times I renew the bill, none have taken it. Um, the sad part is we were not going to accept it. We were thinking about accepting it, but... A pitiful sight, isn't it? A soldier who can't protect his home, whether by strength or by surrender. Laugh if you must. We want to help you. We just want to help you. You only cast away your honor in the name of protection. Nothing pitiful in that. Swallow your pride no more, man. We'll take your contract. Ah, thanks to you. That you'd accept such a perilous request. Even with this tournament looming over everything. I like him. He's like one of the first characters that... Well, there's some other characters, but he's... One of the few characters we've met so far that is not rude to us. He's just treating us like a human, chilling, you know? Not not a, not a human in the game, because humans are bad. But you, you know what I mean. Like, he's being cool with us. Closure. Thank you all. And thank God for bringing you to me. In that case, we shall meet in Matira, the old castle town. Please, make haste. Well, no backing out of this now. You sure this is what we want? The way I see it, if we want to make a big impact this late, it's going to take some creativity. Besides... This is apparently a knight-turned kidnapper. The man can't be allowed to go on. What would his royal highness do in our place? I guess that's fair. I'll convince Hulkenberg. Somehow. You go on and accept the contract. Alright. We're still gonna need a gunner, uh, a runner. <laughs> Look at that. Thank you. Bro, where did you come from? What? How it matters, you won't be able to find much longer. So struggle as you like. Homie, who are you? And why are you talking shit to me? Oh, are you competing for the throne? Alright, cool. Good for you. Whatever. Of course they can. Let's focus. All right. Damn, a hundred thousand. Let's call it. A lot of money. No registration issues, I trust. No, indeed. And we found ourselves a perfect target. Uh, I hope she agrees with this. Fine work. Stroll. See, she's convinced. Nothing to worry about. <laughs> that is true. She did agree. Don't worry about it. I'll prepare a map of the surrounding areas as well. But never mind that. Have you found us a kingly carriage? Well... I have made some arrangements. How best to put it? The vessel itself is without peer. Supposedly, it will come to us on the day of the opening ceremony. She's being a little bit sauce. I 
You don't sound too sure about that. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> no, I'm certain. All I mean to say is, well, you shall soon see for yourself. All right. But sure. Well, under the circumstances, I'll take what we can get, and setting that up in a day. Not so bad having a knight on our side. <laughs> you needn't speak so. In Seems truth, legit. I've just resigned from the knight's order. Oh. Though it is only my bond of service, I relinquish, not my title. We will shortly be seeking Luis's esteem. Should it come to light that I am a knight in active service, it may jeopardize our efforts. Okay, Still, that's smart. Still, you didn't hesitate to leave. I can tell you're serious about this. What did you think? She was joking and playing around? Like, Shro, what? It was not an abrupt parting. I've come to doubt the order since returning to find them serving the Santifex and not the royals. Those who refused the church's rule were cast out for their defiance. I only hope those fallen knights found useful employ elsewhere. Sounds like you've been through a lot too. Well, in any case, we can focus on our bounty contract now. Let's make sure we get some proper rest tonight. I mean, it's not like we've been doing something very tiring lately. <laughs> Let's rest. Can I go out? Boo! Fancy a bit of it. Now then. Never mind, forgive my mother anxious. Please do not be surprised, no matter what we're presented with. <laughs> okay. Hello. <laughs> Don't push yourself too much. Oh, I'll try to come visit if I can. Well, man, eh? Will you be staying in the inn for some time? I really like to, but so you like it, you like it here too. Then you're one of us. Well, whenever it is that you and end up going, be sure. To come see Maria. I will, I will. Mm -hmm. Alright, time to head to bed. Sleep time. <laughs> I still have things to do, like what? I mean, let me double check if there's anything here. Uh, what? I don't think there's anything else we have to do here. Oh, I didn't talk to uh, Shro. My bad. Hey. Yeah. Oh, thanks for the pressure. All right. To bed we go. Rest up. Good night. Right, so Okay. Can I come in? Oh brother, I can never sleep. Uh, want to read some more? Want to read some more? Not today. Oh. You're all leaving tomorrow, right? Not the guilt trip. I'll be cheering for you. So, I... I... I just... Can I give her a hug? Oh no. I promised Miss Fabian I wouldn't cry. Listen, if this game doesn't let me hug her, I'm gonna delete this game. I won't tell her. It's all right. I won't tell her. Papa was trying to stop a bad man, you said. And that's what you're all doing too, isn't it? Please come back home safe. I'll be waiting here as long as it takes. It's a promise. It's a promise. All right. Promise? The next time I see you again, can you tell me more about the outside world? This one's important. I 
I never got a chance to say this to Papa. So, thank you. I'll go to bed now. Captain, may I have a moment? Oh, I'm deleting this game. It didn't let me. Let me hug her. I'm deleting this game. Worst game ever. Ten out, zero out of ten. Chance to speak before we set out. Uh, okay. Since our meeting, I've done nothing but impose on you. Now you risk your very life for this cause. It is no easy burden. I am. I mean, I am the main character, so it's not like I have a chance, like any choice. It pains me to see. When I think of how this may yet save His Highness, I lose sight of all else. Such disregard ill becomes me. Mm. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. It is kind of you to say. But that book, we met once before, on a carriage bound for the capital. Do you recall? Yeah, you didn't help me. They kicked me and I fell down. You could have come save me, but just saying. <laughs> when you got me thrown out? <laughs> oh. Part of me wants to say this. Part of me. I mean, it wasn't really her fault, but at the same time, it kind of was. I do. I do remember. Now that you mention it, I do. My apologies. I thought only to minimize casualties one way or another. So, it is a novel envisioning an ideal world. Curious to see a utopian novel. These oh, we're going to read the book with her? I, I was I was just saying this earlier, bad. too. Ah, uh, you needn't worry. I have no intention of taking it from you. I sometimes wondered why such books were forbidden. Rumors say the Sanctists objected to their contents. Yet I wonder, how could a simple book have possibly stunned them so? Do you mind if I read a passage or two? Oh, sure. Go for it. Everybody reads the book. Just saying it's my book, but everybody wants to read it. So, it is a fiction written as if a personal account. This chapter seems to concern the system by which the nation's leader is decided. In this country, one cannot become even a statesman, much less sovereign, without the consent of the people. Those who aspire to statecraft must first solemnly swear before the people what they will do in service of their country. Should they earn title but break their word, they are denounced and stripped of power. Such is the authority. Oh my god, I wish that would happen in real life. In this way, it is the people. Who are the land's true king? Quite the opposite of our own country. Now I see why our upper echelons would abolish such texts. Had our lands embraced such accountability, perhaps His Royal Highness would not have suffered such a fate. No. As a knight, it's not my place to say. I must clear my head of these fantasies. In the end, clinging to a dream will do me no good. Though, I suppose... It is not so bad to dream now and then. It takes power to walk the path of our dearest hopes. Perhaps that is the purpose of this newfound strength. My dearest dream. It is to save his highness. Even at the cost of my life. Nothing more. Watch me fall asleep. Oh, never mind him fall asleep. I thought she was going to be like, hey, why are you sleeping? Time marches on and the age of a new king draws nearer. All right, let's see what our ride is. Juna! Lady Juna! Juna? Juhan? Oh, she's pretty. <laughs> Ooh, pretty eyes. Far away sky, blue and clear. I call my wish so that all may hear. One and all born to this land, as here we stand. Let us greet the rising dawn. 
That was really good. Wow. Very pretty eyes. Long hair. Imagine, imagine managing <laughs> that long hair. Hate. Well, I suppose it's time to fan the flames. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome one and all to the inauguration of the tournament for the throne. For the first time, the crown is anyone's to claim, as long as the aspirants can complete three grueling challenges. Wow, a Sanctus Cryer! <coughs> He's perfect for this! Let's discuss the venues. We kick off in the west, in the Pearl of the Coast, the Principality of Oceana's harbour city capital, Port Brylhaven. There, they face their first challenge, the exhibition of the brave. Each contender must bring back the head of a monster, a mark of their prowess and courage. Next, our would-be monarchs head east. Upon the misty peaks, we arrive in the Principality of Montario's beautiful city of faith, Alterbury Heights. And finally, our heroes make their well-deserved return home to Grand Trad. But first, let's do introductions. It's time to meet those risking their lives for the crown. Closest to the throne, I know him, you know him. It's Sanctism's one and only 78 Sanctifex, His Eminence, Forden! Yeah, hooray. Victory to Sanctifex Forden! Yeah. Hooray. I don't know if you can tell, I'm really cheering for him. Yeah. I claim no great ambition, nor any heated calls to action. All I wish is to restore order for our people and to safeguard our land from the threats beyond. Yeah, sure. This chaos we face is but one of God's many trials. Let us restore our kingdom's glory together. Yeah, and pigs fly. Moving right along, we come next to His Eminence's champion, the very spear in his hand, the warrior monk captain of the Crown Theocracy, Master Gido. I come before you only in loyal service of His Eminence. I relinquish the throne to him gladly. But those who would seize the crown by force, I will teach you to fear God and to fear me! So much for this being a fair competition. How many horses do the Sanctus have in this race? Still, it's not over by far. The Luis supporters won't take this lying down. What cowardice, Prior! Where's Count Louise? I'm surprised he's not here. Right, all right, settle down. At this time, I can report that Count Luis has not applied to enter the tournament. What? What? He's not even entering? Then what becomes of us? Our entire purpose in this race was to get closer to him. Don't worry. He's definitely paying attention. He's only in second as it is, so we can't afford to ignore this whole production. Sit tight. I'm sure he'll make a move soon. All right, all right. For those Plot Count twist. Louis supporters, you might want to meet our next entrant. A rising socialite, a man of ambition, godless and fearless, the brash young warrior serving Count Louis, Gladell, the Black Hound. Oh, hmm. the one who stole Prince's jacket. So he was one of the six men. The fallen king embraced sanctism and all its holy tenants, and for what? He was nothing before Lord Louis. Look to the sky all you wish. No god can save you. What our country needs is power. Man, you really know how to get people's well, beliefs it's not like quite votes. All the contenders, but let's get on with the introductions. The great liberal merchant, it's Roger Ward. Roger. By, war, by conquest, by right, it's Rudolf Krauss. In it more for the gauntlet runners than the throne, it's Lena Caden. <laughs> sure cute. to be popular by pledging free drinks for life, it's Loveless O'Shea. 
uplifting the beautiful and deposing the hideous, it's Milo Maurizio. Hey, pretty. Wow. Uh, if we lose this, I think the country has some even bigger problems. <laughs> I do believe we have one final oh. candidate. Do we have an Elden boy present? Come on, huh? let's see a face. I have a name. What? An elder? Disgraceful. Is this the only way you could- You're talking shit? Show your face. Down. Come to me. Come down here. Huh? That's what I thought. Hide, hide back there. Hide back there. <clears throat> by the way, the ride you applied with still hasn't arrived. And uh, if it doesn't show up by the time the noon bell rings, you're disqualified. All right? Oh, well. Hey, what's going on? That nitwit! What is he doing? <sighs> so, hey, Tay, welcome in. What? Last, I say! Wait! How'd you behave? Uh oh. A land runner? It's quick! Wait, it's headed right for the. It'll crash! Whoa! <laughs> 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 what the heck is that? Oh, wonderful. So much for a first impression. I mean, it's a good start. Oh, no. Isn't he a marvel, chums? You don't! You nearly brought down the cathedral! Ooh. Have I cared you for me? I've had enough when Luis did it the first time. That feckless, shameless old fool! Not bad, kid. I guess you've got some interesting tricks up your sleeve after all. Right! I'd call that a full roster! Ladies and gentlemen, race across the land! Prove yourself worthy and earn your crown for the people for the throne. Let the games begin. Pew, 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 pew. <laughs> we must take to the road. Okay. Come on. Uh -oh. uh. And we go. I ended up standing out more than I expected. I'm getting a lot of interest, but only consider this part of my mission to aid the prince. Um, <clears throat> How are you doing, Tay? Welcome in. Thank you for uh, coming by to the stream. This is our call to boat game. Love the color. Oh, hey, I have 430. Maybe any more. I'm doing pretty good. Just chilling. Mm -hmm. I'm actually having more fun watching this than I've had. Oh, really? Well, I'm I'm glad, mate. I'm glad. I mean, the story is starting to get better. I, I actually feel like this is where the, the story actually starts. Everything else has been kind of like a build up to this. So now we have to go get some votes. We're running for president, uh, aka king, but you know. Sleepy but chilling. Well, thanks for coming by, Tay. Much appreciated. It's really nice to see you. I hope you're um I hope you have a good week so far or having a good week so far. Just a sec. What's with this thing? Is this our char oh, run her along the main road then? The others seem to be doing as doing as much. There's such a wait, chill. Let me read that. You're just as crazy as the runner. I'll take that as a compliment, little lady. Now let's have some coordinates for the little test run. 
What is happening right now? I want to go to a place called Mistra, Old Castle Town, I think. Should we... Should be in the west. South. South, south. Damn, that's a long trip. Oh, thank you, Tame. It's coming soon, and my friend is gonna play it, so I'm excited to start watching it. Oh, nice! Yeah, when does it come out again? Um, By the end of this month, right? That's when it comes out? Let's see. Hmm. Let's see here. The wow. Hmm. Four days, three nights. Oh, oh boy. Hmm. Not too bad. Oh, on the thirty-first, I do plan on playing that. Um, not this year, maybe next year, but I do have that in my list of games for next year. That's for sure. Um. Okay. I'm just checking my notes really quick. I'm not gonna play it until I see a bit of it because I, I'm like, would I like it? My only concern is, you know, it's EA, so you know how EA is. A little bit concerning. That's already like red flag number one for me. Uh, full steam ahead. All right. Yeah, I hope I I really do hope it ends up being good. This is amazing. I don't know a thing about gauntlet runners, but even I can tell this is a hell of a craft. What in the world are those chairs? What is that? I feel like if I sat in that, my butt will be in pain. I can hardly believe she's ours to drive. You're telling me, lad? Feels like ages since I've been out on the open road. This girl's been waiting long enough for her time to shine. What are these chairs? So this is what you use to talk with the driver. Convenient, lad. What are these chairs? <laughs> That's all I'm saying. Look, old fellow, are you really on our side? You realize we don't have funds to pay you. Oh, thanks for the reminder. Yeah, tell him that. Money? Ha! I'm not in this for the money, boy. Oh, okay. What I want is a little gospel. What do you think, lad? Live on this a rush? It is at that. Like riding the wind. Oh, so he likes the journey. Okay, sure. I did like Bioware. Yeah, Bioware didn't do a bad job. I could never. I need a backrest, right? I don't even think there is a backrest. I think you just sit in them. I need to see, like, someone sit in the chair. I love the horns on these guys. Oh, yeah, that's one of the tribes. There's um, there's eight tribes in this game, Tame. That's one of the most infamous tribes. Brilliant, isn't it? <laughs> Not interested. I'm actually interested in these chairs. Who picked these chairs? It's yeah, amazing. It's amazing. You have a good head on your shoulders, boy. Yes, I can tell you're a sharp one. Where to, ladies? The world is our shellfish. <laughs> you <laughs> certainly are a different person behind the wheel. Hey, Hulkenberg. Can we get an explanation yet? That man is Neurus. And Ishkia, it was not obvious from the wings. And despite <laughs> everything, he was heir to a noble house and personal machinist for the royal family. Holy wings? What? He's a master engineer, of course, positively peerless. But as you can see, the runners get him a bit <laughs> excitable. He's passionate about what he likes to do. I don't blame him. Oh, flashback? Nioras? Are you there? I'm coming in. <laughs> he 
Even amidst all this commotion in town, I find you buried in your work. It's uh, too much to do. As always. To business, then. I must ask a favor. Would you be able to ready a carriage for me? No new commissions. No time for them. Ask another right. It is not the new one I require. Before His Highness disappeared, did you not accept a contract to build him a custom carriage? <laughs> Without a formal owner, I reasoned that it must now lie unused. I was hoping I might borrow it a short while. But, no, pish and tosh, woman. She is for royal use and naught else. Tis an unreasonable request, I know. But I'd not be asking without a grave need. Might I at least see it? Ah, uh, I mean, well, um... T'was specially made for his highness, yes. Not a work you'd have sold off. Where lies it now? You didn't finish it? I, I deadlines to meet, dash it. Off with you now. Leave me be. You've been acting stranger than you. He didn't finish it. What ails you? Runner, the very craft commissioned for his highness the prince even knowing his highness was gone still you toiled away oh, Aww. you are an inspiration such nobility of purpose you still have faith um, yes <laughs> right <laughs> wait what do you say like that however for a craft meant for the royal family it is rather excessive isn't it did you Really? Built this vehicle exactly to their orders? <laughs> okay, I don't think so. You cannot mean... Uh, well, at first, uh, certainly, I followed the blueprints exactly. But then His Highness died, and... Uh, well, I, I couldn't just let the old girl waste away. A masterpiece like her? Collecting dust in storage? No! Unacceptable! Unthinkable! <laughs> ah. I'm working toward a dream. And this... This poor old girl is going to help me see it through. And then, finally... You imbecile! A lowly, brazen court engineer butchering his highness's inheritance for a hobby! For this... Mania! You embezzled the royal treasury and disrespected his legacy! Treason! Ah, ah, mercy, please! Oh, wait. Look, She's playing him. My head Make her feel bad. Lady, but leave the valley runner alone. Look, this runner it is fully operational now. Yeah. Is it? Then Play I suggest him. you cooperate. Mm hmm, for mm -hmm, both mm -hmm. Our sakes. Finish your tinkering by tomorrow and bring it to the Grand Cathedral as soon as you can. Damn, she really blackmailed him. <laughs> I'm scared of Hulkin broken down. Hey, what's all this now? I'm scared of her. proud soldier at me and then pluck it for your own schemes? Tis no scheme. I would use it for his highness's sake. Right, I mean... Right. For his highness, eh? Hold a tick. Haven't you been looking for him? Wandering across God knows where last I heard. So if you're back now and... And now you want a gauntlet runner for his highness? Oh, shit. He's starting to... He's starting to figure out. Like, you're gonna blackmail me? How about I blackmail you? Is... Is his highness still alive? Oh. That's it! I've got you, haven't I? Twas his highness who gave you refuge while you were only a heretical scholar condemned by the Sanctists. The time has come to repay his mercy. Understood. Oh, okay. Enjoy. Sounds good, Crash. Don't worry about it. Is that enough? Can this old duck really handle an undercover operation? I know what you're thinking, but tis at least true that he feels an undying debt of gratitude to the royal family. 
Pish and tosh, boy. A little faith. Not to brag, but this old duck's craft might be the fastest gauntlet runner in the kingdom. Why, probably the world. Yeah, but it has the worst chairs of all time. What are these chairs? Who does... Who de did you decide these chairs? Like, my back is hurting watching this. My poor booty. I don't think they can survive this chair. Like, look at that. Look at that chair. I feel bad for my, my for my main character. Like, how are you comfortable in that chair? Maybe. How encouraging. All I want is to push this runner as far and as fast as she can go. Show her off to the world. And you? Well, I presume you'd rather work together than have to walk, eh? I mean, I'm gonna be honest with you, I'd rather walk. If this is what I'm gonna sit on. I don't know about this, but I guess we'll just have to trust him. What do you think? I think we should change the chairs. Listen, I'm still stuck in this chair subject, because... Uh, I don't know, I have... Flashbacks. Um... If we die, we die together. Well... If we die, we all die together. Ha! The boy's bold as brass! It's not an invitation, you don't. I'm <laughs> on the road. <laughs> I mean, if we die, YOLO. The game is over. GG. Either way, he knows the prince is alive. So we can't just leave him to his own devices. We're all in the same boat. Or runner, I guess. I see what you did there. Boat, gunner, runner. You lot can handle the fighting, and I'll handle all the driving and grease work. Just make sure you've got a proper plan for all this mess now. Well, I need you to drive like you were... What's his name? Jason from... Um... Oh, wait. Ryan Gosling from the movie uh, Drive. You need, you need to drive that good. This guy's got no filter. But he has a point. We do need to talk strategy. Bad chairs, bad beds, oof. Bro, my back is hurting just sitting in this chair. I would sit on the floor and just use the bolted head of <laughs> Fantasy is dead. Oh, yeah. No, no, no. Fantasy is not dead. The chairs are dead in this game. That That is what's happening here. Chairs so, are non-existent. Our first trial is to slay a monster. We take its head as proof, then get it to the goal line before the deadline. The bigger the head, the better. Our destination is Port Brylehaven. The capital of the Western Principality of Oceana. It'd be a trek on foot, but this gauntlet runner should make it a snap. So getting the bounty's head is our next move. And our target is a nefarious criminal who's been kidnapping and selling off children. Right? The despicable. Did the task not specify a monster's head? Uh-oh. Um. Uh. Yeah, she doesn't know that. Uh. Well, you see, um, well, Hokenberg, what what ended up happening? Um, don't worry, all part of the plan. We don't need to win this thing. We just need to get Luis's attention. Okay, yeah, I played off call. Everyone's going to show up with monster heads, and we shake things up with a felon, a knight turned kidnapper at that. Shows them we're there for justice. Us to deliberately violate the rules, we risk being disqualified entirely. Then again, it is just as likely to win the people's attention and thereby Luis's. I do understand the intent. What do you think of this plan? It sounds impossible. Like, damn, I'm so positive. I trust all of you. I trust all of you completely. Good enough for me. A captain's got to trust his crew, after all. The bounty's Heismay, an ex knight. I realize that's a little close to home, Hulkenberg, so if you'd rather hang back. No. His title is precisely why I cannot let his atrocities stand. And yet, it is strange indeed that we are hunting a mere man when the trial demands a monster. Huh? Uh, by the way, as they're starting pretty soon, everyone, just a heads up. Then again, our true aim is beyond the ambitions of any other aspirant. Our fate rests in this plan of yours, Stroll. Thank you. <clears throat> I'll try to ensure your trust isn't misplaced. Yeah, you better. She'll probably kill you. <laughs> right, sir. Then our course is set. 
Feel free to use anything in the faucet runner. Even got a bathing room if you could use a wash. Yeah, um, I'm gonna need you to change these chairs pretty soon, okay? Good to know. We can always look around more thoroughly later. Yes. You needn't tire yourself out before we arrive. Well, I'm a tinkerer and not much else. All my fighting happens in the own workshop. But I'll take you wherever you're going for your sake and mine. After all, the wilds out there are no fairy picnic. Oh, no. It's a den of wild beasts and savage scoundrels. And we'll not get past it without days on the road together. So, if you need anything besides a steady hand on the wheel, give me a hoot. Bound to find me in the cockpit or the engine room. <laughs> <laughs> He's huh. certainly an eccentric, but he doesn't seem like a bad person. We'll get used to him. I suppose. I mean, it's not like we have a choice. You make it seem like we can just kick him out. You know? Oh, I like the music in this part. Let's visit the engine room and take your time and have a look around. I've never been in the Gauntlet Runner. Kind of want to see what the engine room looks like. Wait, is there a bathroom here? There has to be. Bookshelf. Bookshelf. Please tell me there's a bathroom. Hmm. Nice beds. Oh. <gasps> Uh, excuse me? More important things to do than take a number two in the bathroom? The disrespect? I am very confident that if this is similar to Persona, if you go to the bathroom, it'll raise your stats. I am 100% confident on that. That has to be in the game. I would not be surprised. Drake is giving me a reaper. <laughs> Not the reaper. Not the reaper. Alright, uh, is there a kitchen here? They said there's a kitchen, right? That takes me to the deck. Aha! Got it. Oh, you have to wash your clothes. Interesting. Got it. Got it. Uh. Is there anything I can collect from here? Got it. Oh, not yet. I'm guessing I'm just supposed to explore. I can't really cook or anything right now. Boo. I mean, we shouldn't really cook right now anyways, to be honest. All right, so kitchen. Bathroom, shower. What is this? This is. Oh, we can. Oh, yeah, we can get stuff from here. Um, okay, so we can grab stuff from here every every day from this point. I took notes. All 
Okay. Washroom. Welcome back. Uh, welcome back from the ads, everyone. A lot of books we can read. Am I supposed to just explore? I like how my character's like, these beds are small. I mean, I am a small person, so. Can I take a shower right now? Now that I could, now that I could get used to that. Were you going to shred and strip nude? What do you think you are? Unacceptable. It's a bait bathing room. <laughs> Unacceptable. Uh, all right, what's down here? Wait, actually, what's over here? Oh. This is cool. All right, so that takes me to the roof. right now actually let me explore a little bit more what's down here oh hey there's more washing machine interesting upright cleaning tool okay so this is where we can clean Oh, there's a... Um... Look at these. I didn't know they existed in this game. Hey, more. Welcome in. Alright, what's over here? Whoa. This? Wonder what makes this thing run. Hello. First time in the gunner runner, eh? <laughs> Whoa, you scared me. Looks like the pipe is there, too. It's caught a runner phone. There's one in every room. Now, I believe I heard you speculating the old girl in her workings. Macular crystals to fuel the run, you see. Used to be used to be your take your life in your hands when you travel in the wilds, then thanks for the kingdom's greatest minds, the Golly Runner was born. Are based on colossal beasts. Made by made for zero momentum loss, even the roughest terrains. Among other things, it's modified the craft with a bit more zip and speed. Another step closer to my dream. What dream? Long story, my girl. Best told to ca captive audience with no plans for the next few days and nights. Mm. Oh, so that's like a clue. We should talk to him and he'll tell us the story, his dream. Okay. Um. Okay. You will continue towards the destination while spending time in the Gauntlet Runner. Utilize its factions, obtain items, raise abilities, or do other things you, were, you wouldn't be able to do in town. Try using the kitchen, reading books at the bookshelf, or using the washing machine. More activities will be available over time. You can also spend time in your allies while traveling, which will imp help them improve their... Okay. Not bad. Let me save it here. I haven't saved it in a while. Alright, let's go back up. I think there's some stuff we can pick up from the the kitchen. Wait, did Leon just sleep? I feel drunk. Uh, are you okay? Sorry. I'll survive. 
Oh, you can handle. Okay. I I feel you, Leon. I feel you. I want to make sure I grabbed everything here. I think I did. Is there an up in here or um? A stove? Where's the stove? I don't see a stove here. The lies. Mm, I mean, we could read a book. Uh, we'll think about it. I think we might have to read a book. Oh, wait, can I go to the bathroom now? Oh, I didn't raise your stats. Interesting. Hmm. I still believe you can raise your stats there. Um. Use the gauntlet to run a cooking table to whip up some food for your allies. Eating, prepare meals, and grab your party's. To cook, you'll need ingredients. Buy them, win them, or find them laying around. Oh. oh, nice! We got some free stuff. Ooh, ooh! Hell yeah! No, 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 no. Okay. Um, I think I have to read here. What do my notes say? I mean, I could cook or I can read a book. I'm gonna read a book. I'm gonna save it just in case if I make a mistake. Um, we'll go with... Let's go with New World Travel. Oh, this will increase imagination. Uh, sure. Why not? Actually, to be honest with you, I just realized something. There's so many things in this world which, very simply, I don't understand. There's so many things I've learned since we started traveling together. Uh. I mean, that's mature. Now we're talking. You're very mature. What? What are you saying? That I was immature before? It's not like I knew any more about the world than I did. Hey, I know this time we're traveling for a mission, but if we all goes well, I want to go to another journey. Uh, maybe I'll write it down on a book. So then, sweet. Good idea. Just make sure to include me in the co-author. <laughs> all right. Of course, if you want to do. Further, whatever you do in the future, just keep working hard. Well, can you think of anything I can do to help you out? Uh, teach me more. <laughs> I'm not really all that knowledgeable, though. If that's how you feel, though. I'll gladly d tell you every insight I have. I wonder if, depending on your answers, it gives you points. It must be like Persona. Let's see. This one will give me right. what? 
Oh, four. Okay, not bad. Not bad at all. There's still more to uh, left read in the book. I picked up from. I'll pick it up from where next time. The gauntlet runner arrives at the desert camp as the scorching sun sinks okay. below the horizon, and the curtain of night falls over the land. Protected within the stalwart hull of the gauntlet runner, the party gains a short, peaceful respite. Oh, a nice little campfire. All oh, nice, the vast wilderness outside is in score with darkness, forcing your way through. A marked territory is very dangerous, even with a. Okay. Instead, establish a camp somewhere safe. You can resume your travels the next morning. Well. Hmm, okay. <sighs> Three days until we reach. Strategy room? Wait, what happens if I go into the strategy room? Let's check. Oh, it just goes back to okay. Uh what to do, what to do. I mean we could read again. We can hang out with Hogenberg. I think that's just to raise our stats, though. Let's see, we can... Mm, so, yeah, we can hang out with Hogenberg, Reed. Hang out with Stroll. I might hang out with Stroll. Oh, apparently you can eat these bugs. Oh, nice. We got some stuff out of it. Alright, we're gonna hang right. out with you today. Imagination. No, man. I'm still surprised these are not voice acted. Just saying, they could have voice acted these things. Speaking of, hmm, lost your greater power. They had no allies. Maybe they had no allies. What's that about? Oh, I see. I see. Try as they might, even the strongest king wouldn't be able to establish a country by themselves. Perhaps it's not a matter of how much power you have, but how you choose to wield it. We got more than one power at our disposal, and on top of that, we got allies who share this, these abilities as well. Then, if we continue to master these archetypes, then maybe, just maybe, we'll be able to surpass the great hero kings of old. Nice. Damn, imagination takes a lot of points to level up. Okay. We can go with strong. Time marches on, and the age of a new king draws nearer. What to do here? Good morning. True. They're better than I feared, considering how tiny they are. But I got a question for my own. Isn't the desert gonna be a number of a runner? <laughs> my boy, remember who maintains Imagine that. Imagination. I see what you did there. I see what you did there. Uh 
gonna be able to carry through the desert this fast, but just keep an eye on the red, okay? Alright, well, it's gonna take us three days to get there, so. <sighs> or two days now. Alrighty then. What to do? We can clean. Do I really want to clean? Do I want to? Mm. Read. Uh, I'll just hang out with Strogan. Oh, do I... Does that raise my courage? I forgot, how does it change? Oh, there you go. Oh, it does raise my courage. Hell yeah. Welcome back, Crash. All right, yeah, we'll hang out with Stroke. I need to hang out, uh, I need to raise my courage anyways. Well, then. Yeah, welcome back. We're what just hanging it? out, spending time with our teammates. But after things settle down, I like to live without the sword. Oh, really? Interesting. I admire the idea of a world where monsters and senseless violence don't exist, where nothing's taken from you by others. That's why one day I want to restore my ruined hometown. And not just mine, all the ruined hometowns. Hey. Oh, that's so noble about you. How about you? I shared my plan. Let's hear yours. What What you do when the fight's over? I would like to help you. <laughs> Are you serious? I'm a bit relieved to hear that, tell you the truth. I got to get I gotta get stronger even the village gets rebuilt it's all if they attack by monsters again I want to be strong enough to get rid of the country of monsters now leave the spineless army and its competitive generals mm. dude Leon is such a nice guy we'll fight for change look at that yeah but seeing the state of our country's army I'm all for more glad of your captain truly. Hey. Hmm. say here? I envy you sometimes, you know, to act with such conviction. How does one become so bold? I just do whatever. Um. I do what yeah. I must. Right. Easier said than done. Yeah, welcome back, Crash. I haven't really missed much. We're just traveling next. Uh, we're traveling to the next town. We're uh, in the tournament now, so we're trying to get more votes. We're trying to get more people to like us, so we can become the next king. Wait, what did he say right there? Right. You are sent to done, I get fixated in the past, I lose sight of the present sometimes. You always look forward and that's what I envy about you. All this to say I have faith in you. We've been with more battles ahead, and I'll be counting you to get through them. Right. Aww. I like Leon. So far he's coming he's becoming my favorite character in the game so far. He's just too nice. Now then. Oh, courage level two. Courage. Nice Sue. Are you king yet? No, not yet. Why that's 
Hopefully. I like how the the points when you raise a level is a crown. So basically, the more levels you go up in your um, social stats, I'm just gonna call them social stats. Um, they become longer like a crown, you know, which is pretty cool. You know, the whole king crown. I like. I say uh, we could stop for a break. Coming now into view is the tree of prophecy. A resplendent tapestry of color against the backdrop of the bleak desert. One theory is that the tree's roots gorge on the land's magma. And still another is that it gorges on those enraptured by its colorful foliage. As though themselves snared by the bewitching magma surrounding the tree, the gauntlet runner comes to a stop at its base. Hmm. Uh. Here we are. Should we get a closer look? Oh, very pretty. Wow. It's so pretty. That's... It's not just the leaves. It's as though the whole area has been painted red. Certainly. Let's call this the mind picture book I read as a child. Told of a great tree located somewhere within the country whose colors shifted. How exactly would the tree foretell the future? And how does a plant grow this huge in the middle of a desert? Mm. I'm not sure if this explains it, but I'm sensing an incredible amount of magma in the air here. Mm. I'm not sure I like the most loving Hoenberg. And another that joins next. Okay. I mean, I like Hoganberg too. Um... But I don't know. I think it's because uh, Strode joined our team first, so maybe I feel more attached to him. But yeah, he's really cool. Like he's very. Um... I don't know. Sometimes you'll play a game and someone's really nice, like they're really kind-hearted, but it sometimes feels forced. Now it's Strode. Strode's just like a really nice guy. Like he's he's there. He's got you. He's like a bro. You know, and he and he'll do the right thing. He knows to, he knows what the right thing is to do, so. And it feels natural. It doesn't feel like force or anything. Welcome in, Deku. I hope you're doing well, by the way. Hey. Yeah. Oh, you're giving it to me? You sure you I can have this? Yeah. Yes, of course. I've already committed it all safely of my mind. I have no need to sketch it myself. Aw, thank you. Hey there. I like the music in this part. I haven't been the biggest fan of the music. Like I don't hate it, but it's been like eh. But so far the music has been okay. Oh, we should give this drawing to Muriel, yeah. Huh? That's cute. Getting ready for work. Just grinding a bit, finally got to road. Oh, you finally hit a roadblock? Like, what do you mean, like, in terms of fighting? Like, combat? Or, like, you're stuck in a situation or something? been exhorting me the whole time i don't really call you asking so knock it off <laughs> oh dungeon's kicking your ass oh dear lord you got this sticker you'll be fine oh let's raise my wisdom all right hmm. nice the gauntlet that was a little nice hangout spot clearing, concealed by boulders as darkness reclaims the wilderness for itself, monsters run rampant in the wilds. I feel the like this is going way too unless peacefully. Unless from within the safety of a gauntlet runner. The party, secure in their gauntlet runner, spends the night in peace, hidden from hungry gazes. 
I feel like this is going way too nice, you know? Like, everything's going too well. Some shit has to happen, right? Oh, another chem. Hmm. Wait, let me go back. Test number two. Where's the bathroom? All right. I knew it. I called it. I I knew it. Too persona like. As you can tell, I went to the bathroom a lot in persona. Mm -hmm. I don't know why, but I'm just like, hey, let's go to the bathroom and then, you know. As the main character, you have to go to the bathroom a lot. Uh, maybe not. Oh yeah, you can do what Leah uh, is saying. Just go back to academia and yeah, I know it's just tedious though. Um, no, I know. That's why I did a lot of grinding in the beginning. Uh, at some point, I'm going to have to grind again, so yippee. I don't really mind the grinding, though. I think it's much better than Persona. Mm, to read... Oh, actually, no. We can go back to the campfire. We can get something from there. Forgot about that. What to do? What to do? Mm, we can hang out with- can we hang out with Strogan? Oh no. I mean, we'll hang out with H Hogenberg. Why not? Well met. Sure, we can hang out. What, what level are you right now, uh, Deku? Bro, how are you both sitting in these chairs? Like, why? Can we sit in the ground? Oh, you're 38? And I'm guessing the enemies are like, what, 40? 42-ish? Sorry, Hogenberg, I wasn't paying attention. Mm. It's kind of cool Certainly. to be honest. I see. I mean, I do look cool. I guess they have flat edges. <laughs> no, man. Yeah, around there. You got this, out, Deku. I believe. It, it, like you said, it's gonna be tedious to um, level up. But um, I mean. You're kind of doing multiple things at one time. You're leveling your character up. To be honest, like, your level really... It does matter, but it really matters about your archetype. So as long as you're switching and having the right ones, you should be okay. Like, I I always say in Persona, for example, level your level d does matter, but it's all about the Personas you have. So same thing with this game. It depends on the archetypes and your combos and stuff like that. I think the game is designed for you to be underleveled. Unless you like super grind to like level... I don't know. I saw somebody playing this game. And they're around this part. They're, I think they were around this part. And they were like level 40 already. I'm like, what the hell? It's a lot of grinding. I think they were playing in, in the easiest difficulty though. Because if you play on the easiest difficulty, you do get more XP. So I think that's how they had a lot of money and XP. That That's the only way I, I can think of. Because level 40 and you're barely here, like, yeah, no. Yeah, I need to find a good team. Just been experimenting. I mean, I already know what I'm going to do. But, um... I need my fourth teammate. I know we get a fourth party member. I just don't know who it is, but... Hmm. 
did you finally figure out what um what stats you're gonna go for? I always forget about yeah. I've only been using one of them, the one where uh, it lowers the defense. So I'm pure smart, very smart. I saw somebody playing this game and they're going for a luck build. <laughs> Which I give them credit. I don't need to level up because... Yeah. True. True. And to be honest, from my experience, my whole, like, persona experience... And maybe it's different in this game, but luck is... I don't know. I'm not saying luck is bad, but it's just... It's not like you get a... It's not better. Let's just say that. It's It's okay. Imagination. Imagination. Believe. Why that's it's getting quite late, but we we got ways to go yet. So I would like very much like to continue chatting with you. What is magic miss but not but not crit? Yeah, it's kind of funny how you miss attacks too. Like, even if you use your synthesis attacks, you can miss still. That's why I always go for agility. Time Especially in SMT games. Age of a new king draws nearer. Well, in SMT, I, I always went for physical builds. But in this game, I feel like... This game is really pushing you to go magic. That's what I feel like. So bumpy. <laughs> That'd be the change <laughs> in terrain, lad. Uh, See, you've got to let the suspensions get used to hard ground instead of soft sand. <sighs> Must be nice to fly everywhere. <laughs> oh. What the? Did we just crash? Of course not. That's a... A cannonade. <laughs> oh, we're under attack. Oh shit. My star is rising. Ah! Oh, are they fighting someone else? Sanctism will reign. Ah! It's them. Remember, from the opening ceremony. I think one of them is Guido, Forden's confidant, and the other is Luis's man, Gladell. I hope they both die. Prominent candidates. Shouldn't the king's magic petrify them for their aggression? No, see where they're aiming. They're not shooting to kill, just to take out the opposing runner's legs. Oh yeah, they they don't know about the duel. Yeah, I forgot about that. I think they'll find they'll they'll find out eventually. Stuck out in the wilds with no working runner. Whether they survive or not, they're dashed well out of the race. So does the clash to halt each other's advance. Damn fools couldn't resist a show of force. Look, over by the legs. That crier is there too. I see. Acting as witness to the higher candidate's conflict. It seems Gladell cannot match Gidel's firepower. <sighs> What's our plan? If we just hang back and watch, Gidel's gonna win. And Borden gets a leg up on the competition. Let's see how this plays out. I mean, do we really have to help them, you know? We could just chill. Do we really have to help? Let's just see how it plays out. Fine, whatever. Let's give Glodell a hand here. Good thinking. That way, we could win Luis's regards. Agreed. Let us ride to Gladell's aid. I say, hold on! You realize you're a no-name candidate, eh? Alright, so... Notes. Out, he'll not have to aim for just our legs. 
It's a runner, isn't it? If things get too dicey, we'll just run. Didn't you say we had the fastest craft around? Uh, fine. Suppose there's no room for caution if we want the world's eyes on us. Okay, then it's settled. Let's make sure he owes us big. There should be an external runner phone out there. We're here to help with Drawgadel. Who goes there? Why do you stand for Luis's forces? Well, um, sorry, can't get into it now. That Gorman one. You're that commoner candidate who destroyed the Grand Cathedral. Was that not enough? You would profane the sink for the second time. Yeah, who? I know you're not talking. So be it. In God's name, be thou punished. Oh, what? He's trying to kill us? You dare interfere in my fight. Know your place. I mean, you came to our place, so... Is it fame you seek? You thought by confronting me, you might lift your own names. Then you chose the wrong opponent. I hate to interrupt, Oleg, but it's a touch more complex than that. We of the Crown Theocracy's monk army have silenced all who would oppose the eminence of God. Your petty ruses are beneath me. Now you shall know how powerless you truly are. Oh. Remember, the king's magic means we cannot move to strike the dough himself. Go for his followers first. We'll thin their numbers and turn the tide. Go, my brethren. Put the fear of God into these impious commoners. Why do I feel like they're weak and starting? Looks like we can't brute force through this one. I feel like they're weak and starting. That's just me, though. Here. Helpful as ever. The they won't hold back. No, hold on. Mm. The next one's yours. A sword master. I mean, as long. Oh, you little best. Really? Okay, fine. Expose your sins. Hmm. You first. I will like usher you to his side. Strive for. <laughs> Cocky smirk. Ow. What could nice you magic. hope to achieve? Don't underestimate what kind of cocky smirk? What? Let's see. Resistance. The physical attacks don't work. You're lucky I have uh, a different class. We'll do this together. Not this. Mm. No. I'm counting on you. Prostrate yourself before God. Oh, so slash attacks don't work. I shall vanquish evil. What a mess. You little bastard. I don't have the best classes right now. Go for it. No, you Strike me if you dare. Oh, this is gonna be rough. <laughs> It would have been nice. It would have been cool if they let you switch your classes before the battle. Uh, before the battle. Because this is going to be rough. Witness me, brethren. Vita's power. Win. Now, all yours. Prepare yourselves. Withdraw it. Guarding seems the wise move. I would lose nothing by conceding this fight. But the faithful are watching. For the sake of my dear brethren, I must hold nothing back. You didn't even do anything. You're just standing there with a smirk. Now, 
Feel the righteous truth of sanctism engraved upon your flesh. Does this mean he's getting serious? Rise, my brother. You gonna heal? Ow. Ow. Sanctism will raise. Ow. Moving to the front for all that we strive for. Good oh, after all. It's too early with to go to hand. his side. Shut up. <sighs> I will fight with Seeker. Did I? Wait, what? No, I did have it. Oh, I, sh I don't think I saved it. Oh, dear lord. Mistakes were made. Better be sure. Seeker! Scout! Mistakes were made. Take Give me the follow. Hey, Batman. I like the name. I'm planning to buy this game. Is it worth it? Please tell me. Uh, if you like Persona, you'll like it. Time to go if you're not really interested in Persona, then you the probably won't like it. You first know your voice. So you resist physical attacks. Win. So. The faithful are broken before you. Yeah, if you like Persona, you'll you'll really like this game. This is basically Persona 6. Um just fantasy in a way. Yet your desperate struggling is for naught. You cannot defy the inevitable. I am immune to all your wicked harms. Oh, he gets to do whatever he wants, and we can't even get near him. <laughs> Bend the knee. And yield to the divine truth of sanctism. I call that cheating. Now, are you prepared for the end? Ah, I think not, you rotter! Sure. What have you done to my gauntlet runner? Smart. We have nothing to lose. At the very least, I can thrash your old clunker until it's inoperable. This is a waste of my time. So be it. You'll face your divine punishment soon enough. Oh, he just ran. Okay, cool. Phew. Finally, he took the hint. Hey, get down here. Oh. Uh, but yeah, if you have any other questions about the game, like mechanics, combat, feel free to ask. But um, yeah, I think you'll like this game if you're a big fan of Persona, SMT, and stuff like that. Is he server back person? Uh, yeah, he's one of the ones that help um, the bad guy, me basically. Bye, Teku. Thank you for hanging out. Good luck with work, okay? Oh, the sinker's with him. Oh. What are you playing at? You think I owe you now or something? I would have been fine without your meddling. Are you sure about that? Are you hurt? Are you hurt? Of course I'm not hurt. Look, what are you after? I'm just asking if you're okay. Like, sorry. Like Liddell, surely you can spare some manners for a crew that saved our lives? Honestly, that got a bit ugly for my liking. Well, well, well. Do my eyes deceive me? Juna the songstress in the flesh. What brings you all the way out here? A little tryst on the road, is it? Nothing so saucy. I'm afraid this cad's just my chauffeur. Now please, darling, a little privacy, or I'll have to charge for an interview. Fair enough, miss. Fair enough. Nothing you're not used to. But consider <laughs> me chasten and shoot. Besides, I might have found another angle here that's just as promising. What do you mean by that? You surprised me out there, love. You bested Godot. 
<laughs> Why is he so excited? Why is he just like... What the hell? Oh yeah, there is a demo on the PlayStation and on Steam, I think, if you want to try the game. The Steam is pretty, uh, the demo is pretty long, so you can try that. Um, it lets you play the prologue, like the beginning of the game, which is like, depending how long it takes you, it might be like four to six hours, which is a lot for a demo. Um, but yeah, you can try that out. It lets you do two dungeons, well three, kind of. There's three dungeons you can do. There's one main story dungeon, and then there's like an optional one, and then there's another one. But uh, yeah, you can try the demo. So you're not just a pretty face. You were more help than my useless driver, at least. Are you flirting with me? <sighs> Look here. However talented and famed a songstress she may be, you must remember to contain yourselves. I'm fine. Songstress? Wait, is she the same needy lady who sang at the opening ceremony? Why did you have to tell them that, Hogenberg? Sweet, good job. I, but that's oh, blast it all! I can't take it anymore. You good, bro? I'd know the suspensions anywhere. <laughs> you had pagan works upon this, eh? <laughs> yes, those are quality parts, and no uh, mistake. I should have guessed that. Shells out for his own. By the crown, you can't be serious. She is Juno. The kingdom's greatest singer, the dulcet diva. Oh, this is preposterous. Surely I can't be the only one starstruck? So what you're saying is, you need to calm down. Really? N no one else wants to shake her hand? Well, then on behalf of this group, I... I suppose it falls to me. Right. Sure. Yeah, go for it. <laughs> You're an interesting little ensemble. That's cute. I didn't know she was a fan. Wait, is that a fairy? A real living one? Where did you... Uh-oh. Hey, up there! <gasps> is that who I think it is? An airborne gauntlet runner. He's actually finished it. Uh oh, I, I think I know who that is. We got bad news, everyone. Alright, Operation Sneak Inside. Let's not get caught. So that's it. I thought it was strange that a candidate like Gladell got stuck playing someone's driver. But she was still the Satist's pick for the opening ceremonies? Guess even Forden's camp has to bend to popular opinion. My humblest apologies, my lord Luis, for this travesty, especially when you had graced me with the privilege of bearing the lovely Lady Juna. <sighs> Glad to see Lady Juna's safe, at least. I... I did not picture that voice on... I did not see that coming. <laughs> I was not expecting that voice to come out of your mouth. I'm gonna be honest with you. I could have crushed that churchman like a bug. And I would have if these insolent fools hadn't. I'm sure. Sorry, don't much care. It would seem you had to clean up my associate's mess. I'd like to express my gratitude, but if I might ask, who are you? Oh, take a wild guess? Oh, part of me wants to say this. Mm, I feel like if I say I, I'm one of them, one of his supporters, that's going to be a little bit sauce, you know? And then, uh, wait, I don't know. He, he needs to know we're one of the contestants. One of your supporters? I feel like that's too obvious. I'm just gonna say a candidate. I'm just another candidate. Yeah. Indeed. 
Then we are both striving for the throne. One would think you commoners, but for the Lady Knight at your side. And you have a gauntlet, brother. Most curious. What made you decide to enter the competition? Looks like he's more interested than we anticipated. This might be our chance, so choose your words wisely. Oh yeah, thanks for the pressure, bro. To help you? Mm. I mean, he wants to become the king. I should not say anything about the prince. Do not say anything about involving the prince. I want to help you, Count Luis. Oh? You fight in my name, do you? Really now? So you thought you'd step in for a little self-promotion? We want to help anyone in need. That's what we believe in. Anyone? Most interesting. However, my immediate needs are met in terms of sword hands. Oh, come now. Don't they have a certain charisma to them? Why? I dare say I saw them use magic without igniters. Please, I know we can help you. We want nothing more than to see your vision realized, Lord Luis. Okay, Stroll's a really good actor. All right. Damn. Brad Pitt. All these other actors. Move, move along. You do know what that vision is built on, don't you? If you would claim yourself my ally, then prove your power before all the kingdom's eyes. You can't change the world without power, after all. If you can manage that, I'll consider your proposal. See you, loves. I can't believe she's siding with- I don't think this changes anything. Yeah, whatever, bro. Come on, Hector! Oh, that's the dog's name, Hector? Cute. <laughs> it soars like a damn bird! Right then, that could have gone worse. We were lucky we managed to connect with Luis this early. Yeah, it's a good start. No thanks to that Gladell. Even should we be accepted, he'll be no ally of ours. Well, at the very least, Luis knows our faces. All we have to do now is avoid screwing it up. He wants to see our power, does he? Then let's find Heisman, bring him to justice, and show the nation we're a force to be reckoned with. Um, by the way, ads are starting pretty soon, everyone. Just a heads up. As the chirping birds return to their nests, and the darkness claims its dominion, the gauntlet runner at last arrives at its repose, a place grown thick with trees. Are the sounds from between the trees just the leaves being caressed by the wind? Or are they the whispers of the beguiling beings of the dark? The party never has to find out, for they are safe within the gauntlet runner. Safe? We were just attacked. I don't know about that. Also, I gotta check my skills right now. Ah! Oh, damn it, Blast! I... Did you hear that? It's over. The end of the road. So ends the life of the genius engineer. What say we go check on him? Hmm. Oh. Hey! Nurse, you okay? Oh, you too. Terribly sorry. It, it's nothing, really. Um, you seem troubled. Is there something troubling you? Ah, well, I suppose you could say that. It's just the runner, you see. She's in top shape, but... I wanted to make her peerless. An absolute beauty, you know, top of her class. Something that would make even old Luis's runner look like a burly apple cart. I'd not be floundering so much if I just had a bit of spark. A spark? Yes, my girl. A spark of inspiration. A moment of epiphany. Like when I saw the lost relic. Lost relic? Lost relic? Doesn't ring a bell. Ah, oh, yes. Context. Um, 
They say that long, long ago, there was a civilization so highly advanced it was beyond all modern understanding. Automation ruled the day. People lived surrounded by machinery with no need to work. Legend has it that they lived lives of convenience and comfort, but somehow, that civilization just up and disappeared. God only knows what happened to them. Sounds kind of far-fetched already. Hear me out, would you? The point is, once in a stretch, you hear about someone unearthing relics from those days of yore. Absolutely inscrutable to the layman, don't you know? But those in the know would recognize such a prize at a single glance. Hmm. Who you hear this from? Have you seen one? Have you ever seen one of these yourself? Oh, yes. When I was but a young strobelet, there was this loony old inventor in my neighborhood, both quite brilliant and quite daffy, as they often are. That old fellow only showed me his find once, but even seeing it lit a fire in me, like being struck by lightning. After that, it was like a boiling pot. Ideas, ideas, ideas rising to the surface. And my tinkering always came out marvelous. Some proper court engineer worthy genius. Something about it utterly captured my imagination. The, the, the lost relic, I mean. Well, uh, you could try getting him to show you again. If only I could. That old fellow went back to his own hometown. That single solitary glimpse of the past was all I had. The old goat. He told me he'd leave me the relic in his will. Okay, so where's this guy's hometown? Oh, some tiny hamlet somewhere on the outskirts of Martira. A village by the name of Camero or some such. Then we can just go get it. Alright, sounds good. This one's important. Another quest. Oh wow, five hero inst okay. I do need those. Time marches on. Shit. And the I need to look at my stats. Draws nearer. Let me fix my stats. Or my skills, I mean. Oh, oh, oh. I don't think you're um, a big fan of these rides, huh? I could tell, Strup. Andres, I'm grateful. It's just hard to show it while on the verge of losing your lunch. I mean, I, could, I really feel bad for him. Departing the capital and barreling southward, the party's gauntlet runner at last arrives in the old castle town, Artira where their client, Barden, awaits. The towering castle's stark walls stare down coldly upon its visitors. The only question now is whether or not this gambit was the right move. We'll see. Hopefully it was a good, good decision. Tis far more desolate a place than I'd heard. Not many people out. It's like everyone's afraid of something. Ah, you're here! I've been hoping you'd show up soon. I know it's been a while, but we pledged to help you. We'll not go back on our word. Glad to hear it. I'm sure Lady Joanna will also be pleased. Oh, your pardon. Lady Joanna rules this city. She is also a most holy sanctuary of the Sanctus Church. Oh. She lives there, in Criganti Castle. I take it the locals are hoping for his eminence Thornton to win the tournament. Aye, naturally. No sane and righteous man would want Luis on the throne. Speaking of, I heard there was a scuffle on the road between two candidates' gauntlet runners. The criers say Borden's ally suffered the worst of it. Ah, well, that's Luis's camp for you. I assume it was them, I mean. Some nasty characters at his heel, eh? is nothing but a tyrant yes such despicable in his name unforgivable captain 
Are you sure we can trust these strangers? These Becky boarders are always in it just for the money. Looks like his officer is not on our side just yet. Then he be rude, Morris. They come a long way for our sakes. <sighs> no. I'm sure uh, you that guy has a hater time. look. Let me I can see it from a mile away. You can try our local speciality, perhaps. Ah, you've a local delicacy. It would be a welcome treat. You chaps go on. The old girl needs a bit of maintenance after carrying us so far. Can't that wait until you've eaten? Uh, too much at stake, lad. Go on. Don't worry, and I'll sort her out. Well, you better eat something pretty soon. <sighs> Might well fix the Bally Waterworks while I'm at it. Come, everyone. This way. Damn, they're really not letting me change my skills. Oh, why does the food always look good? Is this some kind of smoked dish? Roasted larvae of the giant sandworm. Never mind. I'm good. It's culinary speciality. Cooked to a delicate finish. Just enough to preserve all the natural juices and flavors of the innards. Oh, good. Larval innards. Yay. It is a unique texture, to be sure. But the <laughs> taste is divine. <laughs> Exquisite. You're completely serious, aren't you? Something the matter. Do try some of your own before it gets cold. Um... I'm not sure about this. <laughs> I mean, yeah, let's go. Looks great. Yay. <sighs> it looks great. Come now. They're offering us fine hospitality. It is only right that we graciously savor it. I mean... Yes, absolutely right. I'll be cheering you on. And uh, I'll see to the funeral plans. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I like how my face is. My face is shook. It's not that bad. Uh, are you actually enjoying that? It's always cute that they give uh Galia like a little a little plate. Look at her. She's she always has like a little small plate. <laughs> how the hell by the way, how the hell do they make a small plate for a fairy? That's the real question. How did like what? How was it? Sometimes the insides can twitch a bit, but it's harmless, I assure you. I didn't like the sound of that, but... Word that I had time to try more of your dishes, but... To business. What happened, mate? Can you fill us in on the details of all these kidnappings? <laughs> Aye. Our wee ones have been going missing for at least six months. All told... We're looking at 15 children now, unaccounted Wow. And do you think this high as May is your culprit? He said it can twitch a bit, and I did not like the description. Oh, okay, okay. I was like, wait, what? <laughs> Something happened to twitch? I'm a disgrace night with nowhere else to turn. We've no proof, but the pieces fit. Seems to me that with nothing else to lose... He's gone rogue. For a man who claimed a knight's honor to stoop to such horrors. It is unacceptable. We must end this quickly, for our sake and his own. If I recall the brief, it'll be quite a feat to even get near this Heisme. His hideout was in the midst of the Sandworm's territory, yes? Aye, well remembered. He certainly isn't going to make this easy for us. So... Is Heisme's hideout way out here? Looks pretty far from Martira. <sighs> Interesting, okay. Now that you mention it, I have to wonder how we can even survive out there. We've been chasing any lead we have, but we can't figure it all out. We're in over our heads. Let's save this town together. Let's work together to save this town. We're awful grateful to have you. And don't worry, we'll pay you what you're due. After all, nobody else in the royal capital would give it a second glance. We help anyone in need. That's why we've come this far. Inspiring words, young man. Now, I hope you're not full yet. 
We have a whole spread of other dishes for you. Uh, I hope it's not similar. Now, this, this is the pride of the town. A fine sweetmeat made from the juvenile sandworm's entrails. You'll find this tastes as sweet as any dessert. Why can't you just not name it something else? Why does it have to have sandworm, you know? Even just looking at that, there's... I don't know. Together. I'm sure we can find a way to the stronghold without falling prey to those worms. Now, please, dig in. Are you trying to kill us before we finish the quest? Is that your objective here? Because we're trying to help you. It is altogether different from the roast. Why, it is succulent as a mellow fruit. Another marvel. <laughs> Uh, I like how the little small animation of her chewing the food, and I did not like that sound. Okay. Trash. <laughs> Made like, put that in the trash. You must have gotten used to eating anything you had to out in the wild, eh? Yeah. I'll schedule a meeting with the Honorable Lady Joanna tomorrow. Please, rest your weary heads for today. Oh boy. If they aren't here, con a free meal out of us, that is. No, let's go. Bro, listen. Don't make me kill you. Stop being a hater, okay? It's been a while. Ugh. Exactly. All right, so I gotta change my skills. So I didn't have. What? Oh my god, I didn't save it. No wonder. Uh. That and then I guess we can also give it a fire. Eh, I'll give it a nice skill for now. Yeah. So he's our info. Pleasure to see you. Okay. Can I go out? Got a moment? Boo. Yeah, I would not be eating that. I'm good. I'm Gucci. Is there anything around here that I need to get? Just double checking. Girl, how did you even like that food? I'm scared of you even more now. Oh, this way? Um, there's a gold beetle here. Gold beetle, where are you? Ooh. Gold beetle, gold beetle, gold beetle, gold beetle. Hmm? I know there's a gold beetle here. I just don't know where exactly it is. Wait, let me talk to Shrum. <sighs> Only three of those tiny runner bunks. Nice to sleep in the end, isn't it? I love a good yeah. end. Nothing beats a bit right? in the end. I can see the monsters out here when they camp on the runner, so I, so I rest a little easier in the end. Alright. 
sleep time. Good night. All right, there is a gold beetle here. That's that's all I know. I gotta find it. Time marches on, and the age of a new king draws nearer. What a beautiful weather. I think I might overslept oh, though. Hold on. Where's What's everyone? Time? Okay. I think it's in that room. I need to check. Oh, <sighs> oh maybe not. I think I have to keep drinking it and eventually I will get a gold beetle. So basically there's like these little, um, what do you call them? Rare items you can get in this game, uh, collectibles. And um, there's, I think there's 46 or 49 of them. And you have to get all of them to get a trophy, so. Drunk woman. Oh, wow. I'm sorry for your loss. Well, this town needs our help, that's for sure. More people missing. Beg your pardon. All these rumors of the abductions just make my skin crawl. I can't stop thinking the buggers might be prowling around as we speak. More people missing. These poor people. We'll try to help out as much as we can. Are they going to kidnap me, too? Hello there. Mellow milk? Why does that sound pretty fire? Alright. Pray and be saved. I feel like I've seen all the I've seen all these over the place. Wars never misses the opportunity, does he? Honestly, we should be putting posters as well, to be honest. Yeah. Now, you listen here. I'm saying this for your own good, all right? You'll never know what the kidnapper's going to show up. So if you're going to lie down by your eyes, by your eyes, man, go somewhere else safer. Even if you wouldn't like getting kidnapped, I'll tell you that that much. Oh, chicken! Cute chicken. Okay, so tomorrow we can start collecting stuff. Now what am I to do? I got a minute. Wait, what did you what did you say right there? <laughs> even the first, even the main character wouldn't survive that drop. How do you know that, huh? Oh, another poster. That sounds right. Interesting. Okay. Why does everybody have a poster except me, huh? All right then. Oi. What? All good. So it's not safe to go this way. I'm going this way. Let's not. Boo. Let me live my dangerous life, you know. Wait, what are they saying? Ah, close your eyes. I'm not gonna lie, it is pretty sad that uh I that whoever this person is, um, is kidnapping kids. That's kind of messed up. An elder candidate? Oh, someone mentioned me. How nice of them. All right then. Oh, the store's here. Let's see. Do you have anything I can buy? Hey. Actually, what's today? What now? 
Eh, I should probably wait till idol. Wait, yeah, actually. What now? Oh, tomorrow's a weapon shop store discount. What'll it be? Ooh. Okay, so I'll buy that. Not right now. All stats plus two. Interesting. Okay. I'm not gonna buy that now. Um, I'll just wait for tomorrow. Okay, so we need to buy those two things. Where's the weapon store? Okay. What do you have? Will it be? Daggers? Crossbow? Interesting. Okay. Oh, I should probably buy that. So that, this. Yeah, just probably those two things. Actually, I could buy this and then purify it. Never mind, it increases damage against demi humans. Nah, that's not really worth it. It's all good. I think there's other gold beetles we need to find here. Um, let me see. Um, let's see. Gold beetles, gold beetles, gold beetles. Oh, there is. Apparently, I think there's one in the fireplace. An elder candidate? No, no. Not the ah. I'm out of ideas. At least everybody here seems more nicer. Huh? Aha! Gold beetle number seven. Okay. Forty two to go. I don't know if there's forty nine or forty six. I think there might be forty six. Oh yeah, there's forty nine. So forty two more. Yippee. What are I to be? Hello. More people missing. What? Bro, what? Dude, you're despicable, bro. That's a joke? Huh. Yeah, alright, whatever, bro. Oh, potion storm. Hey. It's always good to, um go into the store so you can teleport them or teleport yourself to to the store let's see let's see let's see i'm trying to see if there's anything here i don't think there is hello welcome okay Wrong, though. Let me explore. 
fine, whatever. What's not? Oh. All right then. Actually, I do have to go this way. I wonder if there's anything else around here. Mm, no, nah, seems like we're okay here. Now, how did I wind up here? Seems like everybody's just afraid right now because of the kidnapping. All right, let's go see the, the ruler. You. Let's go. I, yeah. May I present Lady Joanne, Sanctuaris and the ruler of this city. Oh, there, man, I was thinking someone else. These are the ones who have undertaken the request to subjugate Heisman. I am Joanna, presiding lady of this city. Very pretty. On its behalf, you have my gratitude for traveling all the way from the royal capital. Lady Joanna refused to use taxes to pay for this, so she sold her own heirlooms and possessions to secure the Wow. Funds. It's clear you want only the best for your people, milady. So we'll give you our best in return. I cannot claim any nobility above yours. Even as other aspirants to the throne quarrel and bicker, You've chosen instead to help the kingdom's people. Well, well, we don't deserve that much credit. After all, we're not helping for free. Even so, please put an end to this tragedy. We won't let you down. We won't let you down. Thank you. In truth, I thought it foolish to decide a monarch by a simple vote of popularity. But perhaps there is something to it. Here is my offer. If you get rid of the culprit, I will appeal to the people of this town to support you. Oh, wow. You. It is most kind, but can you truly afford that? Surely, as a church sanctuary, his eminence Forden would expect your support. Indeed. However, I would rather have a king who truly cares for his subjects. Yes, Lady Joanna. Now, I must return to my duties. I shall await our next meeting. We're counting on you. It was a confident smile indeed, with a great deal of pain behind it. I know yep. it's but a step in our plan, but truly, I hope we can help these people. She even promised us political support. She did say it. Oh, I mean, I can't help but wonder if she'll keep her word on that. It's quite a promise to make when she barely knows us. Did something seem amiss? Not in particular. Maybe it's just the gloominess of this place getting to me. So what are we going to do about Heisme? We'll have to go out in Sandworm territory to find him, right? The mere fact of his kidnappings suggests he's passing unseen by guards and sandworms alike. The question is, how? A tunnel? Let's ask around the city a bit first. Though I can't say we'll find many willing to talk with the streets this deserted. Maybe we'll have better luck around the taverns and shops. I think tunnels. Maybe he has like a hidden tunnel or something. We should go. All right. Hmm. Boy. Oh, your wife was kidnapped. My thanks to you. I don't know if I can be any more help. Um, do you know how giant sandworms? It's unfortunate, no. I know much about them, I'm afraid. Sorry, I can't be held. All good. Okay. To the market we go. All right, we're just trying to get information about Mr. Um, kidnapper. Trying to see how he's kidnapping people and getting away with it. So, hey.
You go out there alone? Mm, do you still know anyone who might know something? Okay, so the armor store. not talk to you or did did they say somebody near the armor store like this person what is it I think for Connie oh wait hang on I just thought right. of someone there's a merchant yesterday in the tavern boasting he got in real close to the sandworm den if that's true it's quite a feat maybe he's still in town nice. Okay. Alright, to the Tambrin. Maybe we'll get some more information there. An elder candidate? No. I might have to level grind again. I'm out of ideas. I'm starting to realize some of these items are very expensive, so I might it might seem like I have a lot of money, but I mean and actually, we do have a lot of money. We're fine. Now, I'm overthinking it. I'm in trouble now. Pleasure to see you. <laughs> Why do you eat bugs? Oh dear me! Um, didn't they say it was inside the tavern? Or maybe it's near the tavern. We should go. We should go. This guy. Whoa. Bad weather. Think that might affect their travel at all. Once we got things figured out, maybe we should talk and see her again. More people. Right, we, we also need to think about the weather. I can hardly think on it. More people missing. I can hardly think. All right, this person More has a hangover. Missing. What do you want to know? Excuse me. When you ask him yourself, I know the next question. I'm the talent informer, you see. I can tell you the merchant, among other things. All right, here's your money. Thank you kindly. Just like I knew you would. Now then, a deal's a deal. Yeah, but he's drunk. He's not gonna tell us the information. Oh, so you're lying. You didn't get close. I hate this guy. Oh, no good. Boo. What a scrap. I suppose we knew it wouldn't be that simple. It is far too early to give up. I spent over a year asking after the prince with no luck. And still, I did not falter. Yes, and it's very admirable. But I think I prefer a change of tack instead. Oh, you this have. guy. Might you answer a question? Terribly sorry, but I can't help. I you. remember this I'm guy. Just here on my leisure. You're better off finding the information you're looking for elsewhere. He was in the capital. Suspicious character, isn't he? Hey, you up? You seriously gonna hunt down Heisman? Your Bardens, man. Yeah, the guy with the attitude. Not sure I should tell you this, but here I am. There's actually a way to avoid the giant sandworms. I just got away for the sand flash. It's a local event, a kind of storm. The wind kicks up sand peppered with magic crystals. 
Not too uncommon a sight round here. Our hmm. diviners say we'll have a sand flash in about five days. Seems to put most wild beasts to sleep. Might be some magic effect, or might just be waiting out the storm. And that includes the sandworms, eh? They'll nod off, and with proper timing, you'll sneak right past them. Heisme might well be using the same trick himself. We're much obliged, but if you know all this, why haven't you and the guard gone out? Wait. I got a, I got a bad feeling. What if this guy's working with the kidnapper? What if that's why he has he's giving us attitude? He's like, damn, these little brats are here to stop stop our little operation. So it's kind of weird that he's helping us right now. I don't know, I don't trust him. A guard unit stomping around would wake up the whole den. Didn't much like saying it, but us local lads wouldn't be much use against Heisme anyway. But you think you can handle him? I mm. wouldn't be here otherwise. I don't trust this guy. That information is all we needed. Thanks for the help. Good luck out there. And don't worry, no charge for the advice, eh? Can't have you getting yourself killed now. Cap's reputation's on the line. And uh, yeah. one more thing. You didn't get this info from me, eh? Understood. But why? You could have shared this with us at supper yesterday. Sauce, a little bit sauce there, you know. I don't trust this guy. What? And got myself volunteered to go out there as your travel guide. Made <laughs> danger of that. I see. Anyway, yeah. I'm counting on you. Whatever, Finally, bro. A solid lead falls into our laps. And we'll not even have to bother with the sandworms. We've apparently got five days till the sand flash hits. Let's make sure we can get this done quick. Looks like more than a day's trip on the map. If it takes us one night to reach the giant sandworms territory, and we aim to go when the storm has them all asleep. We should leave in four days' time. Let's go inform near us. A little bit of a sauce. I don't know about right that. Righto, straightforward enough. Long as we get in when the worms have all tucked in for a nap, we'll be just dandy. Suppose I'd better crack on with the tune-ups then. Don't want the old girl failing on us when she'll be our only hope of egress, eh? I think something just reacted. What is oh, this? That? Damn if I know. It was just in the blueprints from the royal family. Works rather like an igniter, but no idea what it does. Just don't go breaking. Hmm. When did you take a break? I'm actually going to be ending stream pretty soon, Qual. Thank you for asking, though. Oh, oh easy there. You all right, lad? Thought I saw something glowing. Then you came over all giddy. Gave me a start. <sighs> For a moment, it was like a lie was finding. I still can't believe this thing reacted. Uh, look, we don't want any nasty surprises, so I vote we stay put and rest up for today, just in case. That was weird. Hmm. But have you? Uh, no. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a, I'm per pretty much gonna end stream pretty soon. So. I don't want you passing out on me, do I? Just consider it a little precaution for the trip. Was that on purpose so I have to like rest up? Is that what's Time marches on, and the age of a new king draws nearer. The 29th. Come. So let me look at my notes. Um, 29. Oh, we're talking to more. I haven't talked to him in a long time. Your journey is going well, it seems. One by one, you take your steps forward on this road. A supernatural awakening, a call to adventure, legs to carry you. All of these are coming together. Accordingly, new powers needed for the journey seem to have awakened. The thing in the gauntlet runner? Are you talking about that thing inside the gauntlet runner? By my eyes report, there is one piece of equipment in the Gauntlet Runner that was created in ancient times. Something mm. no longer crafted in this day and age. A divine relic. It contains ancient magic once thought lost. The power of teleportation. With proper okay. use, its great power will turn your Gauntlet Runner swifter than any beast or transport on land. <laughs> Most interesting. The reasons elude me. 
But you seem qualified to use this divine relic. I cannot imagine this is mere coincidence. Perhaps you are guided by an unknown hand. Now, try to imagine. Vivid, familiar scenery. Somewhere far from the land where you rest. I can teleport? Take a break even for five minutes. I mean, I'm chilling. I'm fine. I'm stretching a little bit. What's with all the yelling? Hmm? Wait, isn't this? What? The royal oh, shit, we actually did teleport. Ow. We were in Martira just last night. Yuras, surely you didn't drive us back here. What? Mad? Don't you remember how many days the last trip took? You can't dash and roll pop over to the capital in a single night. Oh, that makes traveling faster then. So this is some magic you saw in a dream? So this teleportation, it can just whisk us all back to the royal capital in a flash. Even the gauntlet runner came along for the ride. Is nobody going to react to like a big gunner did. just teleporting and there showing up? There might be a reason for that. Do you know something? She was custom made for the prince. When I wasn't there in the concept phase, when they gave me an odd gadget and said, make it work, I bloody well made it work. You saw it yourself, eh, my lad? That heart all bound up in its heart. Last night, we caught it glowing. Then I wake up and find a proper hullabaloo. Damnedest thing. It only started glowing when you got close, eh? Maybe you were a trigger of some kind. Wow. Um, thank you for the mod love. Oh, thank you for the break time. I'm not going to take a break right now, though, because like I said, I'm ending stream pretty soon, but appreciate you, Ryan. Thank you. Um, but yeah, thank you for yeah. the mod love. Maybe I am. I cannot say I've heard of teleportation, and yet... Surely there can be no explanation for this other than magic. Hold on. If we're back in the capital, that means we've got bigger problems. We're due back in Martira for the bounty. If it takes us days to get back, that's all our planning ruined. If we magicked ourselves over here, let's bally well see if we can magic ourselves back, eh? He makes it sound so easy, but... I know, ho hopefully we what can teleport back. Tis no small feat we ask, I know, but might you at least try? I'll just have to try. Um, you thought it was from the game? <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't be surprised. That it, most of the sound effects sound like um, Persona, so not really surprised. Mm -hmm. oh, Let me use the toilet. I can never go to the bathroom in peace. The disrespect. Oh, come on. It is the time. Um, wait, can I check the stove again? To get oh, some stuff. Alright, fine. I'll go to the teleporter. Where is the teleporter, though? Down below? Uh, this way? Uh, we we'll need to take a break if you just take it because he can soon. Which would be an hour or so. No, no, it'll be like in 30, 40 minutes. I actually have to end pretty soon because, um, my, uh, I need to help my mother with something. Where to? Oh, so, so I could just teleport. Interesting. Oh, so you can only teleport if you've been there. Makes sense. Okay. I focus in our destination. It reacted. The lad really is the key to triggering it. Oh, hey, are you sure this is safe? 
I'm dying. We can do is trust him. I get zapped and I just died. Game over. It's Martira. We really are back. I can't believe it. It feels just like when the king's magic caused that spectacle in the capital. Mm. In my eyes, it's the other way around. It's not powerful by virtue of being connected to the king or to the lad. Maybe it's that all magic is supposed to have potential of this magnitude. You've all got some powers that defy understanding too, eh? Gives one the sense that those sanctists preaching about needing igniters are wrong or lying outright. I suppose hmm. when you say it like that. Speaking of sanctism, they're not like this. A tool full of this kind of practical, unorthodox magic is against all their teachings. Why would the royals have had it? Ah, hold a moment. With this teleportation on our side, can we travel anywhere in the world with only a thought? If that's so, we may not even need a gauntlet runner at all. What? You mean... we could just magic snap ourselves to Brylehaven? Just like uh, that? I don't know. Don't we have to be there first? Like, we don't even know the surrounding of it. I'm thinking we need to get there first and then we'll be able to teleport back and forward. That's what I'm thinking. Go on, try it out. No reaction. Yep. So that's my... Yeah, we've never been there before. So we can't go somewhere we've never been before. Anywhere else you've been? How about Montario? No. Commoners don't usually visit the three great cities. It would seem this power of travel is somewhat conditional. Best that we define its boundaries now. So, in the end, the only places we can teleport to are the cities we've actually been to. Makes sense. Well, thank you very much. <laughs> Almost had me out of a job there, lad. Hmm. Sounds like you've got to envision the destination in great detail for it to work. We'll need more than a glance out a window or a passing familiarity. And you I do like this teleportation thing. Seems to take you a moment, which means it won't save us in a fight. Not as convenient as it sounds, huh? How so? Now we can return to the royal capital any time we need to restock. It is really? useful enough as is, and the more places we travel, the more we Does can... Does it take a to... day, though? You're right. That's what I'm wondering. And now we can drop by to see Maria whenever we like. Oh, oh yeah, that's true. It really is something impressive. Even if we have no Maria. idea where it comes from, it should certainly prove useful. Our next foe is a bounty, and we have a lot of preparing to do. We've got three days to go, so don't forget. Alrighty then, three days. Uh, only one can help us now. Hey, Antum, how's it going? Appreciate you. Mm -hmm. Good playing Crow Country? What is that? Now that your mission has begun, your base of operation has been changed to each time a new operation begins, the town stay in will become your new base. If you want to return to the previous location, such as grid, press R1 on the R1 map menu and select and you can travel there using teleportation magic. Teleporting does not pass time, so feel free to return. Oh, okay, that's pretty cool. Oh, that's right. All right, 